Oh, okay, it is. Oh. You're playing Xenosaga. Ooh! How's it going? Ooh. Hello. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Look at that. It's only this what, two already. I'm now for you, Chris. We are on this. What was that? I said it's it's only what nine p.m. for you it's now. It's only nine p.m. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's ready. Oh, he's ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. You, I'll, you, I'll, gained, I'll you gained an hour with us moving forward. No, I'll be a bit lower energy than usual, as I did get some uh, sad news today. So I will not oh, no. be able to bring my. A game, my 100%. But okay. I will do my best. It's okay, Chris. You do you, homie. Uh, I hope it gets yeah. better, Chris. Previously I'm... on Xenosaga Episode 2, hey, we're in Disc 2 now after we all be able to solve the Y data. But fancy how, how that happened. I should have got bored. We, we made a killer headache concoction, or headache curing concoction for Matthews. Mm hmm. Shion and Alan encountered an unknown enemy and were in grave danger. However, Cosmos, newly transformed, came to their aid in their craft of pure white, the yes, Dina. The destructive power of the craft she piloted in eliminating the enemy forces in an incident. After re science, the remodeled Elsa gated out and the three joined the Elsa once again. Woo! Uh. They never really do explain Cosmo's upgrade to the new body, do they? Just kind of happened. Yeah, it really does just... She just... It, she's I mean, in a new body now. Yeah, that's she's it. a robot. Yeah, yeah. thing. Stay with me, everybody. So I did some grinding off-screen. Yeah! yeah. Did some grinding off-screen. She on is level 40. <laughs> now, after having an extended period in the Domeron, just getting her up to scratch. And uh, you'll make me think to yourself, 40 Jesus Christ that you think that's enough trust me for this game this is quite this is quite feasible and mm -hmm. in, in that time uh, Shion has been uh, decked to the nines learning Ooh, really? abilities goodness oh, yeah. gracious you learn some level four stuff it's it's quite it's quite uh, telling how uh, how much easier it is to grinding and earn class and skill points when uh, you're just one character as opposed to a party three. Now, now, boys, don't catch you learn all the level four stuff except for this. There's things you need to get as well as this. Well, I can, I can learn a stat which is 20, but boost one. Well, low, all this. The launch of level two stuff is just either just ether that uh, is nice, is okay for situational, or just like stats for this stuff. Ether Spear, of course, we got last time is good. And uh, the coats here are quite nice because uh, some of the bosses later on will are going to start pulling out the more elemental stuff, so having damage reduction is cool. But nothing really here in class 3, uh, level 3, except for uh, just I just broke in so I can learn one stuff, and then just I need to learn at least one class in a level to learn the next one. So, get that to learn level 4 stuff learn these two. Annihilation, which is just, it's basically Cataclysm from, uh, or Lightning Wings from, uh, episode one. Attack and uh, cure, uh, clear enemy status. And Lost Agility. Uh, so, uh, this lets you, uh, this negates the any uh, agility penalty you get from testing the bigger ethers like Annihilation, Medica 2, and that stuff really. Like. Shion especially, uh, she has a bunch, she has a whole suite of ethers regarding the early Kaiser set for her. That all that all come with big uh, agility penalties, so having her with lost agility is a huge must. Mm -hmm. I can't believe Shion just got cupel and is now able to do lost uh, lunar winds. I can okay. believe it. Oh, little three, little three stuff as well is okay, but that's that's something we can, I can worry about for later. Since right now, basically Shion is like, uh, she's already ready to go. I don't need really need to focus on her for well, I don't know. Now that we're back on the Elsa, it's uh, time to do some backtracking. Yeah! Yeah! Old All Milsha, right. 14 years ago. Alright, now we're gonna go back to Old Milsha again, because now we can unlock the decoder for the second address that's here, with seven. Burn the ground! I like how we're we're starting the stream with going back to old Milsha, and that's where the objective is. <laughs> yeah. 
We won't be like this when we, when we see it for real. It'll be even more beautiful. Yeah, full of nature growing everywhere, probably. Hell yeah, sound effects are turn. <laughs> We got two chests in this one. Wow. First one is Decoder 7. Second is the Roll Part Right Arm. Yes. Ooh. That's it. <laughs> We're done here. That's it for old, that's it for old Mojo for now. Have we found segment address seven? Yes, it's on the Dom Rung. Hmm. I just need to remember where exactly it is on the Dom Rung. Okay, it's just it's somewhere in the restricted area. I just Oh, okay. Should be fine. Like it's in uh the big dumping point. More we trying to get inside. I am not interested in fights fight right now. I can just mow you guys in my sleep now. <laughs> I also got a, yeah, I got a lot of scrap iron and junk, uh, junk circuits from doing this sort of thing. Um, without grinding, what level are you expected to end the game? Uh, and, and, and the game around 30-ish, I would say. <laughs> oh, wow, so that's consistent with the first game. Yeah, yeah. 30, 40, or somewhere, somewhere around that. <laughs> the level one Xenosaga episode two challenge. Roll apart left arm. Woo. I'm disappointed there wasn't a coder in there leading to another robot arm. <laughs> <laughs> or robot leg or robot body. Hey, that's it from the Dom wrong. Oh, those two crates that I got, uh, that I missed from during the last session, uh, those uh, were, turns out, it was Rejuvenator DX in one of them, and two Skill Upgrade E in the other. I got both e, of them e, while I was grinding. E, 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 e. Okay, now I gotta go. Uh, now that we have both of these, we can go to the basement of the Elsa and, uh, turn these in. And I know this is supposed to be, like, the Elsa repaired and stuff from the events of the first game, but this really feels like it's just an entirely different ship. <laughs> yeah, it's called the Elsa Evolution for, for a reason. Because it just, it just feels entirely new now. I like it. I like the Elsa Evolution. This feels like they took Al from uh, FMP, like, the core <laughs> of the Arbalest, and put it in the Leva team like they do in there. Yeah. It's like, we put the core of the Elsa in the Elsa evolution, but otherwise, it's an entirely different ship. Mm -hmm. Hey, and I think I'm opening the shell in the Elsa. However, because Captain Matthews is deeply in debt, he won't even look at the items that we are selling. But hey, this is, this is basic. do the same thing when that's one second military here. Pawn off your shit to sell off for Captain Matthews' debt. But doing it for Kamikaze activates the GS campaign, so. Complete global Ooh. Samaritanism. I can just dump off a bunch of my stuff all at once. Oh, you've got that crude thing! Yes, the old man swimsuit! The geriatric swimsuit for playing episode one. Oh. <laughs> I heard that belongs to the old man down below, but he's a lot more modest than he seems. He doesn't want to change in front of other people. If you want him to wear it, talk to me. You could talk to the, uh, that android and change the professor's, uh, outfit. Speaking of the professor, he's here now. Yay! The steam. In the newly free for Earth Robot Academy. Oh, this is just a 70s Super Robot Show theme. <laughs> In the next game, he'll set up shop on Old Mill Shop. Oh, we got a nice wow. silhouette of Ernie Kaiser there. All right, well, now we can turn in the arms. We get the Type A Arm Ether skill, Ernie Storm. 
But like first, wacky stuff. Sounds like something here like on Hangman Legends. Oh, uh, wow. This is Scott! See, we must have been angry! They look like a pretty tough bunch of, tough, tough bunch of guys, too. Yo, imagine if the professor tricked out the Elsa to be like the outlaw star with the like, grappling arms on it. In the confusion surrounding the repairs of the Elsa, the professor and Sister Scott joined the ship's crew. The professor even transformed, transformed the robot that came from the foundation to the Elsa. The professor's next plan went into operation without anyone stopping him. Just wait to see if everything is going soon. The Elsa's Captain Matthews, of course, professor. What are you going to do, Assistant Scott? What are you going to do, Professor? Give up. Guess you'll die then. I am freeing pretty hard boiler right now. Why? Because I'm out of space for the first time in a while. Soul's way down by gravity. So, did we actually get the ether already? Yes, I think we have it now. We just need to, like, if I have it, have it. There it is. Ready storm. All enemies ether. Keep no 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 element. H. Earn their ether power from Ready Kaiser arms. I believe that by itself is like agility minus four. If you use it without lost agility. Uh, they're just having a good time. Vibing. I say it made me think Combatler, but yeah, I can hear Mazinger Z in that too. Sound like Mega Man Legends or gave me the same vibes while we're here. Huh. <laughs> 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 oh goodness. Don't mind if I do. It's it's amusing that that's part of the clear data. <laughs> There it is. Oh, oh, nice. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> you're, looking, you're looking spry. I want to say that the Jiraiya swimsuit was uh, in Japan. The clear beta for uh, having Xenosaga Freaks data, but that game never made it over here. So they just put two in one. Ah. Uh. What's your problem? What's your problem? <laughs> your problem. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Worth using the targeting ships, Lily. Well, as long as only else it's smooth thing, nothing else ever scales smoothly. Hey, don't be mean to Tony like that. <laughs> This monitor allows a visual examination of droid's memory. However, the device requires a vast amount of power. The Elsa has a self-generating power system, but using this monitor requires cutting down all power to the rest of the ship. Therefore, Captain Matthews really scans the memory. We also have a self-analysis program. Unless this is your own function, this monitor will not be used. What is this one? Look up droid up and then can just start playing Tetris Attack. Something tells me that Cosmos is going to end up in there. We also have a uh, second new address, uh, Decoder 15, so we can go back and get the one that's in this conscious domain. Yes. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the one that we found uh, in the snow. See real quick. Oh, uh, yeah. I wrote that wrong. I thought it said space part. I was like, yeah, that's... <laughs> I suppose there hasn't been much space part yet. We're in the space part now! We're in the space part now. So far, it has not been a space part yet. 
Now we gotta hoof it all the way back there. We should we should have the shortcut that I opened up last time. So it be that long. Right. I'm not interested in this. I'm not interested in your shenanigans. They don't stand a chance against you. Mm. Yeah, mm. This, this may be tricky with just Shion. <laughs> yeah. Got a boost. Oh, Although they're not doing a lot, at least. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> it doesn't help if these guys act do slightly resist ether attacks, so. Oh, now they're, now they're comboing off. Oh, that was a nice attempt, mate. It sounds like, due to the speed up and everything, it sounds like the game doesn't quite know what sound effects to play. <laughs> it's like, uh, How many how many enemies does the Erde Kaiser Ether hit? Oh, it hits all of them. I, sh I forgot we should be showing them off right, right. What I, not what I was expecting. Yeah, I was I was expecting like rocket punches or something. Sorry, you expect something out of you something good out of this game. <laughs> wow. Whoa, I mean it's Air Day Kaiser. I at least expect <laughs> that part to be good. Unlocking today, boys. This unlocks the level two class D skill. Stock one. Oh, stock one is that? cool. I assume I just you start with a stock. No, you give, you give a stock to a party member. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's, it's well, that's handy, I guess. There's a shocking amount of like items we don't have. Like, we were mean? going through all those question marks, I was like, huh, oh, there's a yeah. lot of them. Especially for being in disc 2. Uh, I did tell you this game is backloaded. Hmm. Guess so. <clears throat> Alright, so... There's one more thing here. It's in the living room section. After that, we're done. Hmm. Have we gone over here yet? We only, been here, we only been into the into the dining room, but not here. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't think so. Oh, 
Uh, apparently for the second of the spring. Guess what we're having that day? Snow! So I mean, keeps striking back. Snow in April hasn't been unheard of before, even where I, I live, so. I know, but it's considering the weather we've had lately, it's a bit unorthodox. It's really in the living quarters. Well, you know me, I love swimsuits. How many of these robots like swimsuits? Holy crap. <laughs> Technic dress number two. Wait, no, it's repaired. It's the evolution. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go around adding more deaths. Sure we can. It's like Tom Nook. Always putting you in debt. Kevin Matthews, always going to be in debt. A certain, it's, you're one of those certainties of life. Captain Matthews is always in debt. Yeah, okay, that's it. We're done here. We can actually uh, advance uh, the story now. And the party gang's all here. Hey. Looks like you're causing trouble as always. You know it. Mm -hmm. Something kind of happened. You happened, Shion. You she happened. sure did happen. <laughs> <laughs> she sure did happen. She hijacked a ship. I think there's a lot of crazy people heading towards home, Milsha. Yeah. It's it's the most happening place right now in the galaxy. It just needs one of those big fancy neon lights at the the exit and the you know. Yeah. The off ramp, that's what I want. Those was Jin, amazing back there. Yeah, you're not has a Terrible crack in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like me right now. Neck crack. <laughs> I've had a headache since I woke up this morning. You have a big headache yesterday. Well, I did that, but cheers. That. Hmm. that mobile weapon you were in seems to be an ES series. Oh, I guess you're reacting to it. Hello, brother. Thanks, brother. Mm -hmm. I do, but it's none of your concern. Homie, oh, stick together. You know it, right? Damn good shit. Good shit. Yeah, let's go. Hit it! We can't return to second Milshire Kukai right now, so we can just only, only can do the math story. Right now. I hear it right now. I miss the dock colony. How's the I miss it too. They're headed mm -hmm. for point E52 at combat speed. Damn, they got some guts to be charging in there that fast. That just shows how desperate they are. Of course, at this rate, we're never going to catch them. Captain, I must warn you. What is it? Make it quick. If we continue to proceed along the present course, it is highly probable that the enemy will leave a force to intercept us. It uh -oh. is prudent to assume that this ship will eventually suffer an extensive and unacceptable level of damage. I'm afraid Cosmos is right. We're in trouble unless we find a route where the enemy can't detect us. Look, I get what you're saying, but how the hell are we supposed to do that? This isn't a highway, you know? It's not like we can just take a detour or something. Actually, there is a detour. Speak up, Momo. What? Really, Momo? I've detected a small gap in the gravitational fields between the two black holes. If we fly through it, I think the chances of enemy detection would drop significantly. You Super Mario Galaxy this bitch or something? We about to do hey, the castle run. Are you out of your mind? Yes. Right. 
Even if we made the slightest mistake, we'd be caught by the gravitational field and dragged into the abyss. I guess it's impossible. What? Impossible? Hey, hey, who do you think you're talking to here? There's no way Tony Numero Uno is going to turn down a challenge like that. <sighs> there he goes again. Once that moron gets started, there's no stopping him. Yeah. Whatever. Do what you want. Because a pirate is free. You hurting. better not even think about getting a scratch on my Elsa. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Momo, I'll be counting on you for a route. Okay. Booty. Out into the great beyond. the two black holes oh, man. competing with each other whoa radar and sonar are both dead we're not getting any readings it's almost like we'd be better off flying blindfolded tony i've detected a massive distortion in the space ahead of the elsa a large mass is about to gate out what they're gating out here Hey, uh, guys, I heard you, uh, wanted a dungeon to play around in. Hey! We'd be happy to provide that for you. Oh man, it's Iron Mask and the Rafflesia! Yeah! <laughs> There's other two-hour dungeon like the last game. What the hell is that? Damn, where were they hiding that thing? Oh, well, they brought friends. Oh. <laughs> They're little minis. Gravity well. If we screw up, we'll get pulled into the black hole. Bastards! They're not gonna let us through no matter what! The only thing left for us to do is to make them move. Little Master, can we take them out from the inside? <sighs> yeah, if we can get inside, that is. <sighs> Tony, maintain present course and increase to maximum speed. Hammer! Disengage all weapon safety locks. Don't worry about Amy. Just let loose with everything we've got. We're gonna dive smack dab into that thing's belly. It's time you guys showed me what you're made of. Right, I'm not getting a scratch on it. <laughs> uh, Captain Matthews is a very simple individual. You He's push got fire in his belly. You push him, he will shove right back. Didn't we do this last game, by the way? We sure did. You can't look that easily, Shion. The fact that those are all uneven would mean that that would never happen like that. <laughs> nope, but it did. So we're good. Okay, and that was a little rough, but we made it. A little? This is very perky music, given what just happened. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to say. Work their magic hammer. I guess we gotta drive it logically. We'll never do anything to uh, own you, Alan. Well, I wouldn't. I'm sure Shion doesn't mind. <laughs> anyway, we have access to the full party now. 
Oh, good. Uh, everyone, everyone looking keen keen. We've gained a plus one since the last game. Plus one card advantage. Bye, Shion. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it for her. That's it for her. Damn. You won't pay respects. Like I, like I said, now once, once, once she got going, she's gonna take a uh, uh, size D for a little while. Jin, I need to keep in the party for now since uh, Omi has been out of action since the, the very beginning. So, you need yeah. to did uh, did Cosmos get anything new and fancy with her upgrade? No, <laughs> she just gets a new chassis. She's got a lot of HP at least, though. No, yeah. second most. Dang. Yeah. God, it's so empty. <laughs> Will you be putting the going straight ahead to the end of the stream here? After the stream, will you be going back to Xion's dungeon and grinding class points? Um, not. I don't really need to do. I don't really need to do that. It would be nice, but uh, uh, really, yeah. you get class points just by completing skills, and uh, we're gonna get a bevy of skill points anyway. So as long as Fair you just keep, keep unlocking skills, we'll just get more class points. Okay. We just got those skill upgrade E's you said, which are what like a five hundred fifty, a uh, five hundred pop, yeah. Yeah, five hundred so. pop. Speaking of which, <laughs> I told you he's, like... he's behind. He needs to catch up. Feed me. Oh, he's legitimately, like, behind. <laughs> no. So before you head out, again, this is when this is when we're really starting. Yes, it's really nice if uh, Momo has learned. Uh, Cycle Pocket and Focus One at this point. Same for Jutnir and Cosmos as Focus One. Well, any any like passive skills that they learn, Jutnir, Cosmos, and Momo, they transfer over to the ESs and they main pilot them. Mm -hmm. But Momo, of course, needs all that as well as all the ethers. So if you as well if you've learned, uh, if she's learned uh, Medica Two and Revert. Uh, that's also really handy. Oh, are we are uh. we able to look at? The ESs that we have now? Yes, but we, do, we, have... But we have to do win battle or oh, okay. when, we, when we're on the field. I was a bit, I was a bit shocked seeing Jin running around. It's like, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm so used to Xion now that having get him the, on the field. It's like, oh, look at those uh, legs. Yeah. I told you, fucking Jin Uzuki is the most geriatric 35 year old you'll ever see. Hello. I, mean, I might, I might give him a run for his money right now. Woo! Welcome to the Ormus Stronghold. Oh, Hell yeah. So yeah, the, the, the ESs are separate level, but they don't level up with us, the rest of the main party. So uh, yeah, this is the... Or Jin on standby! <laughs> <laughs> can, can you switch them around? Yes, we, we can switch the sub pilots around, um, but one will always have to be back, back row. And so, yeah. So yeah. in the main the main party when in the ES battles you only have two at a time. Uh, the one of them has to stay in the reserve. I just really like having uh, Jin with the ES Asher, because I like those particularly give. But we can't put Jin and Shion on the same. No. No. Uh, unfortunately oh. Jin, Jin, <laughs> Jin gets a machine in the next game. But uh no, there you go. But we won't get into and, and by the way. I absolutely <laughs> Adore the Ruben, but that's for another time. Let's leave chaos alone for a little bit as we uh, look around the rest of the So we look through our theme parties. As I mentioned before, we've seen the Asher before and basically functions the same. Here's the Dina, which is a little bit more a range specialist and then uh, the Asher. It's not as not as offensive capable, but it's a little bit faster. It's just, you can get attacks a little bit faster. And then there's the Zebulon, which is the support robot, um, which doesn't have a strong uh, attacks, but it uh, eventually gets going by being able to cast Ether. And that's why uh, uh, being able to uh, have Momo top, top off with that 
is like crucial to keep the Zebulon in a good thing, because otherwise the fights were cheap. So mainly, um, the main idea with the ra most randos is you want to throw the Asher and Dina in front line while the Zebulon comes back up since the reserve uh, members will still recover. So. Here's uh, the Dina. The square attack is hand to hand, single physical short strike. The triangle is beam blaster, and as well as IA, single E throw long beam. And the Zebulon. Kick is a square, single physical short strike. Archery is a long range, single or long pierce. IA. And we can also look at the special attacks between each character. We still have Shopbuster. Now, depending on who's the second pilot, we can need any one of either Gatling Blast, Things of Light. Ice Storm for Corona Buster. Got any blast for Shion, we like Jin. Ice Storm Chaos, Corona Buster is Ziggy. Corona Buster is a hell of a name, by the way. Yeah. That's a sequel to Corona Cross. For the Dina, Spiral Fist is the standard. Single Fist is a long strike. And then for the, the 200 energy, we have Corona Fist for Shion. Twin Dragons with Jin. Chain Blast with Chaos. And Meteor Storm with Ziggy. And the Zebulon Rain Arrow, which is an AoE. Under uh, it's fairly weak, but it gets the job done. And it's the straight up Starlight Arrow with Shion. Golden Bow with Jin, which also does uh clear enemy status. Ooh, me. Ice Rondo with Chaos and Power Kick with Ziggy. Hello, Ron. Hello, Griffin. Hi Ron. Miss Robots. We just got him. Well, we just started, so you didn't miss a thing, yeah. my buddy. Good. You, missed, you missed the return of the professor and assistant Scott. Oh, shit. Let me cry the, right the, head, the Robot Academy is now on the Elsa, and it has a background music that sounds like 70 Super Robot openings. Good. Essentially, well, the only thing that's happened is we are taking a little side path to get to Old Milsha. A space side path that goes between two black holes. Which yeah, was where enemy. it's the abyss that Old Milsha was sunk into. Ah, I see, I see. So, and we go there, and then suddenly this dungeon enemy. we're on shows up. Yeah, we, we're like, we, were, okay. we were trying to split the middle between the black holes, and then they just like gated out right in front of us. Okay. Yeah, this mysterious it. enemy. Mm -hmm. Your standard attacks right there. Also, see, we're back to this song. Well, I am excited. Hey. Oh, fist. <laughs> and I just can't have hide it. I just can't have it. And they, don't, uh, they don't like Cosmos and Medina. <laughs> Asher just doesn't get targeted the entire fight. <laughs> oh yeah, are we able to repair our robots now? Uh, yes. We can, we can do it, but not in battle, unless you have Zebulon and Fielded to heal with the Medica too. Yo, the thing has a GN drive over there. It does kind of look like a one. I quite like Wings of Light. So yeah, on, um, on Saturday we finished the first session of uh, Zexel with another friend group. Uh, it it's honestly not nearly as terrible as the first. The first 26 episodes aren't nearly as terrible as you'll make it out to be, though. Uh, 
I will say that it is rough in a few places. What? Even with the introduction, even with the introduction of the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh character of all time, Kaito. Wee. Wee. Ray, you're sending a tulip to Mars. How does that make you feel? It's another forbidden device. Wow. Hmm. Just remember that's mm. there. I remember we saw one other one, but I don't Ooh. remember where it was. It was in the subconscious domain. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, in the in the spring version. Yeah. Are we gonna be fighting a super boss in Max? Yeah, there are some Max super bosses. Yes. Mm. There you Good. go. Actually, one thing I want. Not gonna lie. I think the battle theme for this area should have been overridden by this theme. Yeah, this sounds way better. Our stronghold theme is pretty good. Maybe we could this. get some of that uh, cutscene composer to come in and do some work. <laughs> <laughs> sounds much better than this nonsense at the very least. Dragons. Dragons. got a uh, a new Fey banner revealed on uh, Wednesday. That was pretty neat. FE3 represent. E fucking Mary. Merlin got in over uh, the brother. Fucking Yumina and uh, oh, you mellow. Yeah, yeah, you mellow. A lot of people Making are it, pretty. Uh, ma it makes sense considering Merrick's on the banner. I know, but it's still, it's still pretty. They, they, get, they, they put Caster in as the Tempest Trial unit. They should have just made Arlen the Tempest oh, Trial unit case. and put Ubello in. Caster was a uh, uh, okay. Well, you, you get the idea. Though. It was the extra unit, basically. Yeah. Corona Buster. Chain Blast. Chain Leave it to Beaver, after all. <laughs> I'm not really sure why they put Castor in, but, uh... I guess they had to put him in at some point. They wanted to include all the Akinea. I do this a friend is who was really happy about him, though. This is probably a really dumb question. Uh, on Momo's ES, does she get access to any ethers that, like, the co-pilot has? No. Sag. Dust her. 
Damn. Nice. What's the uh, what's the trigger for that? Well, uh, whenever you stock, there's a percent chance after uh, performing an action that you perform an, an IA mm -hmm. equal to equal to the number that you see there, and enemies can do yeah. it too. Perfect Aurora. Yo, holy shit! <laughs> Yo, this this sniper machine is pretty cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why couldn't we have gotten an, an eggs in the first game that looked like that? <laughs> <laughs> Heavy machine gun. It is really funny. Like, the eggs and the aims both exist in episode one, but we almost exclusively only see eggs, with the exception of, uh, like, Albedo's BS. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the hype of the good old deal with the. Yes, and I'm like, whoa, what is this? What is this machine? G slow guard. You gotta have the new tech for the new game so you can post images online and make kids like Ray be like, oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? <laughs> I want that! <laughs> yeah. Single handedly got me to buy Nintendo Power and Electronic Gaming Monthly for years and years and years. <laughs> there you go. I want that. You it. It's cool. You need it. I remember seeing the Nintendo Power uh, walkthrough for FE7 and thinking that it was just like a normal RPG, but the characters had classes. And I was like, wow, you get so many different characters. Holy crap. Little did I know. <laughs> oh, that just reminds me of when I bought Radiant Dawn. I thought it was going to be an action game when I, without knowing anything about Fire Emblem. So I enter and I'm like, wait, what the fuck is this? But why, why can't I move my characters around like a New Orleans? And I'm like, oh, this is a strategy RPG. Figured that. Nice free three boost. Here's Rain Arrow. So it's basically our own version of that Aurora thing that the sniper thing has. Yeah. <laughs> and here's Power Kick. Wee! <laughs> Spin. You know what the Asher reminds me of? What? It reminds me of the Wild Worker. It's, it's pretty close. Oh shit, Wild Burger. Burger Mon. Yeah. Your turn. A little bit of Wild Warrior mixed with the Exia, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah.
This is pretty sprawling. Big ass area. Or chest. Charge recover! That's right. Sorry. Yep, recover 5% of max HP when using stock. A difference in crit there. <laughs> that attack feels like it has significantly less weight on it than it should. Weight and impact. <laughs> He's just like, eh, poke you. Wah. Wah. I do find it very funny the park is one with Momo and Ziggy. We just have him top on the peach bomber. <laughs> Not Hi, you. bunny. Mm, that's some good art, Matt. Yeah. so excited <laughs> it's a safe point they're ever maybe maybe that means the dungeon is almost over now repair z i doubt it now repair a is it no no <laughs> i was being Facetious. extremely optimistic now sphere <laughs> now repair a i'm guessing a nanosphere is a biosphere but for the es's that's correct <laughs> but even smaller true <laughs> Speaking of video games with pilotable mecha in their battle system, hmm. so far that has not been the case in Aeon and Chronicle 100 Heroes, which I have been playing. <laughs> so that's that for that. Now we have to go the other way. Oh boy. Uh, outside. It's uh, it's extremely based that they're giving out digital keys to everybody who bought the game physically and can't get the game on time because of production problems or whatever, so. I'm just a digital gamer, so it doesn't touch me, but yeah, it's nice that they do. Yeah, the... Uh... That, way, that way people don't have to avoid spoilers online for like a month. What is this place? I've been asking myself that since we got here. Eh. <laughs> Puzzle. Ah, so we have to... Unlatch things, move them? These cans all have uh, LEDs, especially on the one more side. Okay. 
Okay. Do you have to do you have to break the one that's missing or do you have to break the one that's there? What I need to do is make each of the point toward the need to point toward the ship. Okay. I think. Ah, okay. They have to uh it's spinner control. Okay. Containment seal breached. Containment seal breached. This one does the latch. Now entering the Maw of Tartess. And behind door number one, two, three, and four. A brand new mech. A brand new car. And it wants to kill you. Boss, how do we make the game last longer? I don't know. Instead of having the elevator be up, just watch them have it be moved up as part of a cutscene. <laughs> right, well, we're fighting a boss here, it feels like. I don't think we will. Damn. Chris is uh, correct. I win. It felt like a boss arena. It really did. Victory. Engage the airlock. And now we're over here. We can now disembark the ES uh, from these, yeah. these uh, sites here. But why would you? To continue <laughs> the dungeon, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, can't go any further, that's lame. Morale. The dungeon will continue until morale improves. Yeah. So that means this dungeon's gonna last the entirety until episode three, or until the end yeah. of episode three. <laughs> That's right. Long fucking dungeon. Somehow we find the ES ribbon just stored in here, and it just becomes episode three. <laughs> Sorry, we couldn't finish the game. Episode three just picks up from this dungeon. That's that. Now we have to go all the way back. <laughs> oh my god, really? I could have done this first. That's just my bad. Well, I actually, how I, do we make I didn't I remember what the old robber for this dungeon was. We'll oh. fast forward at least. Small mercies. Oh, all the enemies are gonna have respawn, aren't they? Nope. Oh, thank God. Oh, I was worried about that too. This game has an obsession with standing in the middle to trigger elevators. Destroy that on the way up. Although you can come back there for another thing. The, the party. These guys. I'm sorry, but I have no time for games. Honestly, You're fat for games? I grow weary of these encounters. Who are you? Haven't, haven't we only met once? <laughs> who, 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 who are you? Boss battle. You look like a, a football player. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Boss music for this? Squid of Impeal and Rebecca. Oh, and then now they're been degraded to mini bosses because of the theme. They still feel like up. jobbers to me. They, they, they're, 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 they're pretty jobby, so. It's not, a, it's not a boss fight, but it is refreshing to fight robots with robots for once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it is our second encounter with them, right? This is our second Thanks, encounter, so. yeah. This boss yeah, we, is kind of nice. I grow tired of these encounters. Boy, mm -hmm. I don't know who you are. <laughs> All right, so here's Belen. Uh, 17,700 HP. Uh, 320 strength, 180 armor, 380, 380 ether attack, 320 defense, 48 dex, 50 evasion, 9 agility. Weak physical attacks, uh, weak pierce, and hit, only like slightly, like 25 or 50% each. Uh, can, uh, can, uh, combo boost, and notably as well. Uh, anti thunder armor common, tune circuit rare. There's a second chance to get another one, there's I believe the last chance to get one, so yes, I want this. Once. Right, right away. I won't hold back. So, uh, Richard is the more aggressive one of the two, of the two, while Harbor just plays defensive and tries to keep Richard sane. <laughs> yeah, I like how he has a, a shield launcher. Yeah. Very Zeta Gundam. <laughs> Very Zeta Gundam. Here's, a uh, skid him. 19,200 uh, HP, 500 strength, 30, 300 armor, 30, 300 ether attack, 220 ether defense, 30 dex, 25 evasion, 5 agility. Weak to Aura, Thunder, Resist Fire, Weak to Ether Attacks, End Beam. Anti-Fire Armor, Common Drop, Charge Boost, Rare, and also Common Boost. So uh, I need to play a little, bit, a little bit passive for both since I need to steal items from both of you guys. The rare drops. Is that single party? Here's your common. Oh. Game, please don't. Yeah, please don't mineral <laughs> sword me. <laughs> Did you bite your tongue? Ten times yeah. uh... Almost. Herman will change the defense attribute uh, during during the middle of the fight. Can you keep up? It just it's, it's spirit. Hi, spirit. Oh no, it doesn't look like it. Change it show, shows. Oh, okay, that's fine. Play games. Hey, sport. Hey, Ray. How's it going? Fine. Good. I just woke up. All right. Thank there you. we go. Egalité. Your turn. Charge boost. That's the uh, rare. Nice. I can. I don't, I don't need to see the coming then. I'm glad that those missiles do, like, no damage. Yeah. This... And this guy's missed every attack he's made. Yeah, uh, his dex isn't very high, so... <laughs> I am genuinely really tickled by how such a, a game that loves to have characters, just in general. We got these two who are just, you know... Who They're are. the Sultan Pepper of Xenosaga 2. Basically, yes. At least, I mean, at least one plus two goes some degree to actually give these guys a little bit more characterization. They don't have faces. Yeah. That's true. We've only heard their voices and they're seen their machines. John Billion in particular, uh, I need to keep its health up. Is there a slot? Uh, no. This. Sir. Kind of boost. Hmm. Ice. Ice. Ah. Oh. Keep up. 
Slam him. Now, Richard, don't be rash. Absorb half of her damage. Yeah, so sometimes, you know, uh, at this point, uh, Herman can use Hero Shield, which, uh. I don't like your attitude, so I guess I'll just. He'll take half the damage that Richard will take. Uh oh. Mm. Once this happens, uh, start put stalking, and if you have some defense in you, be beware. Especially for those who are in the middle slot of this party. Nice intercept. I'll turn you into space debris. <laughs> Madness overcomes Richard. <laughs> well, he's about to perform uh, another attack. Twenty IA. Awesome. Everything. Super oh, when he moves to the back row, he's preparing a big attack, so uh, watch out. Use the defend command. <laughs> Nagafar purred for purple weapon. Beam. You can't use that weapon Beam. <laughs> did he just did he just warp in a phase transition cannon? He sure did. And he actually blew a hole in the in the in the stronghold. So that always targets the center character. And then it hits uh, really hard. So Can you move positions at all? No, you can't. Oh. That that always happens. You can't you can't uh move. I I really do love it when like Super boss attacks, you know, your supernovas actually interact with the environment. Yeah. Your character, Sirin. Because, you know, boss fights usually take place in a specific setting. Mm -hmm. So it's like, play with that setting for your cutscenes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean, agree. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, Rock up, stance! Up, Madness. Did, did that happen? There is. Let me think. Yeah, there is essentially one attack in all of Trails so far that does that, and it's neat. Oh, giving you the go, do that's Trails, uh, that's a little disappointing to hear. Lightning's Grace! So Nintendo gets its buff again that it did uh, in the first fight. It will now uh, inflict El Slow, and now I believe he has uh, Thunder Veil on him as well. And now. Armor field gives him defender status. It's nice that Richard is no longer mad, though. Yay. King Gas, L Poison. I think about bus specs. Oh. <laughs> Hear that? Oh, you can question all you want, Vermillion. They just do, alright?
Look, it's fine. They just have the ass to solve us. How can we even get poison in an area where there's a hole to the outside in space? Boost one. Good. One of those dodged. <laughs> Richard is ecstatic! I can tell. Yeah! More like Richard is psychotic. <laughs> now, now, we all have our faces. Especially bosses. Are you ecstatic, Christian? Well, you weren't here for it, but I could... Be. I got some sad news today, so I am lower um, energy than usual. Uh, so, oh, no. Yeah. But I shall do my best to bring content. I have faith in All the same. Thing. I have to ask this really dumb question. Where do the missiles come from in the shield? Don't worry about it. The, there's there's probably like a, probably like a pod behind it or something. Seems pretty thin there boost. to me. Got a boost or a combo boost. Uh, they're probably many missiles. Oh, okay, a little bit bigger than I expected. <laughs> mini Mario toys. <laughs> mini, mini Mario oh, toys. Fuck, not me. Mmm, <laughs> bananas. Mm. Medica. Richard is in a frenzy. <laughs> I'm gonna get her top up turn. Time to heal. You won't last. You won't last longer. Much longer this way because everything. If you're a skill, it shouldn't slip in this, in this case, so Herman will drop soon. Yeah, he's on. We're done here. We're done here. Impossible. 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 Inconceivable. Implausible. Highly unlikely. Impossible. Hey, badass. So you don't you don't sound as ecstatic as before. No, he definitely doesn't. Mm -hmm. Even Richard couldn't. And we all know how great Richard is. Yeah. I love Richard. Oh. <laughs> that's it. Uh, that's it for them. <laughs> they, they just, they just <laughs> out. Oh. <laughs> they outy. I bet the VAs were like, I bet the VAs were like, oh, this the the script ends here. Do I have more? Wait, really? Is that meeting everything? That's it. They Audi. They Audi. We never see them again. No, they'll come back. But that, that's, okay, that's it God. for them in this game. So, <laughs> okay. uh, they just they just team rocketed their way out. I see. Uh, I'll agree. Fair You're pulling enough. the leash really quickly. <laughs> well, that's it. You guys can collect your paycheck. Oh, yeah. And to uh, sample our goods, new goods. So that, uh, sample two, two, my two goods. Circuit, that's plus one agility. That's so, so, so ba, nice. Ba, 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 ba. Charge boost is plus 25% uh, extra charge when using stock. I would ask if we will the see their faces in the next game, but. No. 
I don't. Oh. I'm just gonna spell that right now. No. I, I, I was. Yeah, I was going to say, but I don't actually oh, want to know. I want to keep the suspense. But I'm sorry, okay. Chris. <laughs> but if the answer is no, then there's no point. Sorry, <laughs> if, you want, if you want to see their faces, you have to play Xenosaga One Plus Two. They're, they're, they're literally the grunts from uh, like a general Pokemon game. The team Magma grunts. <laughs> Alright, now we have a bridge. No, we're third Tabitha before the redesign. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, ugh. Alright, now you have to go back to uh where we put the elevator in. And the rest of the and the rest of the dungeon is basically on foot from here. Yeah, I think I can knock you. I'll be right back. People just lie to you, like... No. <laughs> Damn it. Just have more eleven in there. We've gone in a circle. Oops, we have. We sure have. Sorry. <laughs> Good catch. You re respawn. Look at this her ass back here. What's the ring even for? Come on. You'll see. Oh, there you won't. Oh, well, I'll see you when you run into the next one. I'll see you. It's it's for it's for like the the one the one the purple one from MGP. Hmm. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I did it. <laughs> 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 Don't think I didn't notice. I mean, half the time I say it because you notice, right? Like, Oh god, we're so much slower. Why oh, can't we stay in the giant robot always? Sorry. Zeo Saga is a, is a grouping story involving human human and human like characters and sometimes mechs. Why can't we move as fast as the robot? Sorry. Why, don't, why can't we have a run button? <laughs> we're just Xenosaga not we're just not built that way. Xenosaga is a heated drama between men and women. There are there are more non-humans than humans. They are literally not they are literally built this way. Got a sandwich. <clears throat> <laughs> nice. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, share. I would if I could. <laughs> CP14. Level 3 Class C skill, Rapid Refresh. That one's really nice. Um, it's a passive. When a character learns that, they regain 50% of their max HP and EP after a battle if they're in the reserve. Whoa, oh, alright. Instead of the, the Big, usual 25. Does that yeah. does that count if they're in like if you switch somebody out in battle? Uh, they then no, because I believe you switch okay. them in battle. It's the, the battle of the party reverts to what it was before you fought. Okay. Started. I love the big same play. <laughs> it's good. Nice. It's nice that nice. they keep it to scale, I guess. Yeah. Nice dead end hallway, sure. Just nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, Xenogears does that too. When you're in, uh. 
when you're in gear sections and you have the big ass safe point. Dungeon design awesome. is my passion. Dungeon design is my passion. So, uh, Could you please allow us through? This is just the, the immigrant, immigrant free raw here, so it's just having a good time. I'll give, I'll give them. Map design is hard. Uh oh, <laughs> you may be a bit um... too strong. That's okay. that's that's just fine. Oh, at the very least, back to Soul Calibur music. Battles take <laughs> forever, so who cares? A tale of swords and souls eternally retold. Why does it feel like the bad guys are always using Hyams equipment? They do, they do like the Hyams. He just fucking uppercuts them. Mm -hmm. You see? Ah, Jin, you're so cool. Lucy, what's up? Mid. I like how their their names almost give you information about what break zones they have. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They they use the cyber name. Bye bye. Launch doesn't last that long, game. Come on. Launch is, okay, we... Launch is an independent timer. Like, yeah. Uh... Look, we knocked somebody into the air in an MVC game. They're up there forever. Oh, that's fair. It's like FF13 where you launch someone. Oh, yeah, I don't have the, I don't have the chat anymore. But there we go. Smash! Smash it. Smash volcano. Nice. The only Sayonara, line I remember baby. is Blade Combo Third Stage. Awesome. In our Blade Combo Third Stage. Awesome. Awesome. Driver Combo Third Stage. I I I I need, I need two uh, in my in my blood rack. <laughs> I need to play two myself again. It's been it's been it's been several years. Uh, I have a desperate need to tell people how to play Xenoblade. <laughs> <laughs> I can't share the Could old tutorial anymore. <laughs> All right, I gotta show off a uh, new double tax since uh, forgot oh, to put you... Junior moment in the party for a reason. Uh, you also need to show Ron the Ether we picked up earlier. Oh, you got a duel. Ether. Oh shit! You're right. I'm ready. I guess I mean Spirit needs to see it too, but Ron yeah. especially needs to see it. Get hype. I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> so much text on screen. Silver Duet, single enemy, E non elemental, chain of punishment. Yo, we play an ultra kill. See no gears. Ready, Momo? Yes, Junior. Silver Duet. Oh, bruh. They just got Doom Crushered. <laughs> Yo, I like that one. I uh, did not see that coming. Holy shit. I thought it was going to be like that. I thought it was going to be like that one art in Trails where the the towers come up and uh, gets blasted with like electric energy. Yeah, like Galley Towers. I, yeah, 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 that's what I was expecting. Yeah. I, uh, I kind of want to see it again because. Sure, sure. We'll show it again. I think it'd be nice. All right, let's call it a day. The uh, area you were in looked like a combination of somewhere from Xenogears. Mostly just it looked like a place from a PlayStation 1 game. Yeah. <laughs> Graphics-wise. Uh, and also uh... Final Fantasy Tactics, that 
one place. I don't know the names. Mm. It reminded me of Grandia 1, to be honest. It reminded Ooh, me oh of, man, uh... I... Ooh, class would be nice. Uh, oh. Nadia's Bell in Chrono Cross. <laughs> Refight yeah. Miguel. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I oh, mean, I love things you have to hit five times to open. Hell yeah. Missile doors. With her on our side, we can't lose. I'm never being concerned. Yeah, I would say Junior speaking true facts there. Leave the support yes. to me. All right, are you ready, Ron? Yes. Yeah, we got early storm from getting two arms. That's it. Ow. <laughs> Ow. That, 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 that's a one. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Damn. Yeah, they couldn't even—they couldn't even throw some rocket punches in there. Like, come on. <laughs> Not even a kosher beam. It's—it's it's a storm, so like, you got your storm. Yeah, but it's the storm again. It's a storm what? made by the Artikaiser's arms. So. Yeah, that is just, it's just uh... While Shion is here, I may as well show up some of the stuff she picked up during her grind yeah. session. Here's annihilation. 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 Oh, oh man, Could that's an FF10 spell there. Yeah, it <laughs> is. That's more of an Air Day Kaiser attack than the Air Day Kaiser attack. <laughs> I know, right? Are you on? Yeah, I see the Zeno Gears now. I see the I see the Chrono Cross. Game. I'm not gonna lie, I, I think that's an 11 out of 10. No, yeah, really? That was, that was my favorite so far. It's, it's, just, it's just the whole build up up to something unexpected. I <laughs> quite like Silver like myself, so I'm glad you like it as well. That's true. It's yeah. like you're expecting something magical and then you get hit with the punchline. <laughs> you get hit with the punchline! You get hit, you get, so are they. Get so are they! <laughs> With the, you get hit with a stone line. Definitely mm. my favorite so far. I think I'd I like rate that like a nine, personally. Yeah, I think that and Paradise Lost are some of the best. Ooh, it's raining out. I think it's really funny that because damage types the boat is more damage or the boat more damage than most things than a gun does. Guns typically don't do a lot of damage in JRPGs. It's true. Weirdly. Loose. Damn. I'll be sure to send you some flowers. I mean those Thank are you. like Thank you. <laughs> Those just look like standard handguns, like M9s or something. I can't find the M9. Anyway. Can't find the M9! Whereas Momo is a robot pulling back the string of a bow. Ouch. The bow does magic damage. Well, I mean, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Okay, it might matter. It might matter a little. It might matter a little. Go 
on up. Come on, Jen. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I one, don't Jen. want to. See, you see, really, he's afraid of heights. Let her scare me. Look, Gee, you go. Uh, uh, I, I get, I get you, I get you. She on you go instead. She gives Jin another side eye. All right, brother, we, that's another one I'm gonna have to hold you was, against. When I was in high school, we had an orienteering class, and I could just could not climb the tree, the ladder on the tree. I, I can't. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, oh, Richard. it just it just dented the thing. It didn't actually. Wait, that makes no sense. No, no, there was we there's the a beam hole. go there's, outside. The beam did go outside, yeah. There's and it did fry. Ah, oh. oh, where this is safe. It cauterized the wound. Cauterized the wound. Quick, just knock him, knock him off. Just, just knock him off. I've got no time for wusses like you. Or wusses like you. Indeed. Just knock him off. Just, just, there's a ledge right over there. Just knock him off. Full like... magazine, that down. Damn, Jen. <laughs> he just snaps to flat. If you're now here just side dodging like shotgun pellets. Truly I appreciate that, that Momo and Junior. <laughs> Always funny. Uh, but Momo and Junior dodged the first one and Jin didn't. And then he dodged the second one, but they didn't. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I appreciate that Momo and Junior are in their swimsuits and Jin is in his uh, kimono. So it looks like he's just like escorting them to a beach date. He's a yeah. chaperone. He's got his swimsuit on underneath. You see his leg. That's true. You know what? Sure. It'd be hilarious if his swimsuit was just the same outfit with a different color, like like light blue. Yeah. Or like white, it's white with like a flower petal pattern. It's the yeah. welcome fit. It's the welcome fit. <laughs> One got, piece. Yeah. Got, got it. For, got it all loan from Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Everyone voiced by Dave Woodberg has the same wardrobe. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, just check, just check your closet. Mystic power. <laughs> Don't check Penny's closet. God, die. There. I feel more like a combat model these days. That's a pretty sad thought, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think she sounded too, ha sounded too happy saying it that way. I think the sad thought is she's doing better than the actual combat models. Yeah. Ooh. Don't say that out loud. That's so boy, I will do the quiet part out loud. And if those robots could hear, they'd be very sad. I mean, but yeah, they should just replace all the robots on the Domerong with Momos. Could you please allow us through? Oh, for no. if you ask me. Look, I think th I think this one's special. We can't do all the series hundreds. Uppercut dead. <laughs> Jin's just that strong. Go. Oh no, it's like oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Give it your best, oh no. Oh no. I'm a genius. Oh no. 
I really wanted to watch G-Reco. I was sad that they only had the movies up for like a week. Oof. Oh yeah, G-Reco. Yeah, if I need to check something. I remember that series from X. Like all the movies were like an hour and a half long and there was like five of them. I managed to watch one. It's <laughs> a lot. Hey. Okay, okay hold on, hold on, damn. Hooray. Yeah. Drops from that fight. Jesus Ghost wants your HP. <laughs> She's rippling! Jesus is a year HP. Yeah, there you go. Put some respect to his name, please. I mean, <laughs> I saw they are hers Android. first. Because hers is an even number. Jin has the third most. Let's go, Jin. Just even yeah. 2100. Stand by. Stand by. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Could you please allow us through? It's a PSSA. Yeah. It's a. Uh... Airborne only. Hey, that's the emulator we're playing on. <laughs> Die. Sure, Jin. Whatever you say. Die. Energy bomb. Oh god, oh god, it's a Wily Machine. <laughs> no, not Wily Machine 7, not again. Not again? Yeah. Yes, again. I, I do enjoy watching Mega Man walk away from a burning building. <laughs> I sure love watching Duck spend like an hour on I, I am more than a robot. Die, Die Wily! Wily. <laughs> Thanks, vocalization. Alright, we're gonna proceed to make Mega Man extremely out of character. Yeah. Well, people don't look at burning buildings. Dude, that's so hard. That's so hardcore, though. Yeah. It is unbelievably hardcore. Oh, he's doing it again. Ready, Momo? Yes, <gasps> What's gonna happen? Fuck. Hmm, that's that's right, too. That's quite a bit of damage. Jin's fucking air combo, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, I said something about MVC earlier. Jin is just playing MVC. Jalen is doing sword loops, like... I'm motivated. Sword... I don't, I, I don't want to think about Jin having lightning loops. <laughs> sword... Get those swords. I mean, he's... he's he, he's Virgil on, on his vacation. Like... He's Virgil he's, with time off. He's... he's yes. wasn't Virgil. He's Tate. He's taking Nero and Kyrie at again? Nah, nah, Jin wouldn't use a plastic chair. He'd use, like, a wood chair. My sword slash is air combo. On the giant floating air mech. M -m 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 maximum. Maximum. Is this ultimate or base? <laughs> yes. Because I because I want to play a zombie. Probably ultimate. Good. No, nobody plays vanilla anymore. Good. Give me on me. I mean, besides, there's a whole modding scene for Ultimate. It's so funny how, how much stuff they're putting in that game. They just they just teased that uh, 
they're doing they're putting colossus in it's the That's one of the one of the creators of the mods is uh doing colossus so it's so sick I saw Cyclops. Sometimes mm -hmm. it is wiser to retreat. Optic blast! Optic blast! Optic blast. Yes! Yes! Eighty-three. Eighty-three. Oops. Yo, his ether casting animation is pretty dope. Yeah. You guys not having break zones is kind of annoying. Yeah, it's actually really annoying. That your only really good course of action is to just mash circle. Mm -hmm. Spend like three turns charging boost on everybody and then mash circle. in the air can't do that if they do have a weakness well i should analyze them to see if they do have a weakness i should analyze them yeah see if i can just use a sword uh, also i just looking at the faq there is something i missed in the previous room so at oh, the very start of the dungeon. No, back we go. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine though? <laughs> uh, I checked what it, I, I checked what it was, and yeah, I need this. Uh, so I'm gonna guess it's a decoder or a secret key. It's though. decoder. Yeah. It, it just reminds me of the time I played Trails in the Sky One. Uh, we got to the last chest, and I was supposed to get an achievement. I didn't. We looked at it. I was missing exactly one chest. Oh, oh I remember this. Now it's me and Cold Steel 4, baby. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> just blame Asim because that seems to be the the reason that you miss things. Uh, I mean he's good most of the time. It's Ooh. just awesome. sometimes the guy screws us both over. Shortcut. That's but, what that uh, was for. Yeah. But when I but when I uh, oh, when I saw yeah. that, I'm like, you know what? I don't care. Let's just finish the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, food. I don't want to look for and scour the entire game for one chest. There's some points of no return too. Yeah. Ah, they, most of Trails in the Sky One is points of no return, really. There's a possibility <laughs> that you just that you just actively missed it forever. Cool. Yeah. That's just how Trails works. <laughs> Oh, ah, you went, you, you opened it and never went in there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that was that. That was uh, that's my bad. <laughs> no, I I get it. That's how you. That's how they get you. That's entirely I am, my fault. Uh, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in a few. Okay. You should walk. It's dangerous to run inside. Yeah, don't run in the hall. I'm going to pace myself to the bathroom. I'm going to pace myself. <laughs> Oh man, and we had the fun part of fighting all of them again. Mm, no, they didn't respond. Oh, they didn't respond. Good. So we could have gotten here. They respawned in other rooms, just not here. 
But some, sometimes they respawn, sometimes they don't. So Dakota 2 is back on the Elsa. We could actually go all the way back, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> no, we'll do it. We'll do it later. I, I imagine, imagine we'll be going there eventually. Yeah, I was gonna say if you left and came back, then they would have actually spawned. Yeah, the elevator rests on an industrial weight-resistant coil. Place cargo on the platform to lower by degrees. You raise again for moving the load. This is a little weight-based puzzle. Oh man. <laughs> Guessing we have to lower to a specific weight and then go. Yeah. Seven. So it looks like one, two, three. Are they two. not based on how many blocks there are? Like, yeah, I think it might be on um, how many blocks. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yup, it's based on how many blocks there are, so that was eight. There we go. Easy. Funky. Very funky. Yeah, the funny part is I think just pressing Another puzzle. For the first, Push the blocks for the first into the pit for bridge and shove the blue blocks with slide into a straight line. The green blocks with slide just ice. Ice puzzles, baby! Oh, this should be fine. How many, uh, how many blocks do you need? Like, four, maybe? Oops. Oops. Alright, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Nope. Puzzle's locked. Womp womp. I can't, I, actually, I think I could just get all of them in there for you right now. Yeah, I think that, what, uh, you push the top one up first, right? Yeah. You can't, you can't use the left side at, at all. Okay. Like, if, if you go from the left, then they're stuck uh, on the wall. Can I just push them all like uh, this? Uh, push these two up and in, I think. Maybe? Oh yeah, we can't. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't push from the side. Wow, why? That's lame. Rip. These aren't gonna be. You're not gonna be able to do yeah, any of those either. It, it, it's done now. That's so yeah. stupid. Um. 
Um, uh, but yeah, no, yeah, it should be pretty simple. Up, just up take the. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Okay. Um, if you move the one closest to you, down and left, the one, one? the one that's yeah. If you move that one up. Yeah, up and right, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, move it up. And slide it to the right. Then you can push the one on the far left over to the right and then push it up. Or actually, yeah, do that one oh, first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that one first. Okay, yeah, it, it, it's done. We got this. And then we push it in the hole. And then do the same with the one on the left. Far left. So push the top one up. And then we do the thing the thing you started with before where you okay. push them up on the left. Yeah, there we go. And then that should be all. <laughs> and before you need all six, which is impossible. Woohoo! Glad you guys are here. Oh. Alright, now we gotta do these these get pushed once. But good hustle room boys. Is, the room is uh the doors are there, so whatever. Hey, what, what's the point of the green ones? I guess to to get show back. you what they do. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh no, there's a segment address. Or there's a door. Where was the door? Uh in the middle of the blue bridge. To the right. go to like where yeah, I'm so, uh, out. Oh. so you gotta push them all down which means we have to reset the room anyway or no you only need four never mind yeah we might need the fifth one to be able to push them to the right yeah wall. that's that's a good point Hope the blue ones don't reset. Safe point. Well, there's a safe point at least. Okay, good. Okay, We're good. good. They oh, they only move one at a time. That's good. Yeah, the green one only moves one at a time. So yeah, you just have to build a bridge. Oop. Ah, whatever. It's, we can recover that one. Yeah, we just had to be able to be able to walk, put it in an area we can push it to make it go, so we, so we can stay on the left of it. Puzzle design is my passion. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it feels like I'm playing a Tales of game. Me, who's played uh, a third of a Tales of game. Guys, I'm mis guys, I miss Lufia. Uh, the, G the GBA Fantasia, Ron. Nate. Number 13. Woo. Which means if you want to get when you get the decoder, you have to come back and puzzle it. Uh, oh, a lot will be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just watch back and find the solution. I mean, there wasn't much of a puzzle, to be fair. It's true, but mm. well, assuming well, uh, assuming that the blue room doesn't reset too. Yeah, but I'm dumb, so like. Maybe the puzzle was friends moving along the way. Now, thankfully, they're smart enough to not. Oh, God, it's a teleporter maze. It's a teleporter yeah. maze. How many gimmicks can we throw in one dungeon? Yes, oh, all of the fucking gimmicks. Yes. This isn't even the final dungeon. That's the funny thing. Oh, this this is this isn't exactly a teleporter dungeon. This is Flannery's gym. Yeah. Gross. This, this is Soltis. I'll take care of support. <laughs> all right. So now remember the the calces and vibes from the song of Nephilim in the first game? Yeah, they've been modified in this one. No. I think I missed the touch. Uh, well, they're, they're no longer the combat realities anymore. They're, uh, something else entirely. These are oh, Vibe 2 prototypes. I thought you said Vibe 2 for a second. <laughs> vibe to what? Vibe to all the music. Hell yeah. What are these enemies again? These are the, these were the female realities in episode one that we fought in the song enough one. Oh, okay. I'll pull it up. Hang yeah. On. Thank <laughs> you. 
Live. Live. Ah. Oop, that was a mistake. Miss button. Oh, damn. Yeah. What happened, though? What happened? Some genetic modification. Don't worry about it. Also, they slapped an MWS on her arm. They became, <laughs> they became not Gnosis. The Gnosis adjacent. Gnosis adjacent. Sayonara, baby. Maybe an insensitive thing to say, Junior, but whatever. <laughs> you know, he's uh, no time for wusses like them. It's fine, Japan isn't real anymore. No time for wusses. They're like referring more to, uh, like, their, you know... Realities, they're kind of like Momo's sisters. It's, you know, they they didn't ask for this long. <laughs> Distant cousins, these type. <laughs> there are so many levels. Oh, this would get confusing. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank God for fast oh. forward, huh? Well, that, but also... Lack conviction, I assume your, your guide is telling you which elevators to take. <laughs> yes, well, I'm just... Uh, this one is feeling it out, so... Exploring. I think we're pincering them at least, so. Dia, Junior, Dia. Junior just smokes these ladies. Dia, Dia, Dia. Dia, Dia. Yeah. Dia, Dia. Yeah. The day and army. It's always Dia. the day and army. Always. Mm -hmm. Up. Down. And down. And all around. Up and down, Up and all down around. And all around. Forward and back. And then forward and back. Oops. Up you go. That was a fairly worthy opponent. Was it? Now? It, was all right. it was all right, I guess. I don't know how so close there is. Not even all right. Hey, it's an ether katana. Number four. Two segment addresses. Q9. Hey. What is that about, right? Let's see. Level 2 class H skill expansion pack. Yummy. Oh, no. oh, no, Donkey Kong. Expansion Yummy. This gives us, this gives us an additional pack. skill slot permanently. Oh. oh, shit. Nice. It's the Xeno Slugger 2 expansion pack. <laughs> Yeah, this is something everyone needs to learn as soon as possible. Like, Shion would be able to get it now. She's helpful. Oh. There, now we really have three, three skill slots and an accessory slot. I'm not wounded for you. arenas in Barma here when you fight Nitros. Because they they, they, portal. He always got his those colored panels and you just react to them and they all look like when they color blue and yellow. This makes me think of Portal, they're blue and orange. Yeah. <laughs> and they we're do. back to the start. Yeah. They do have that uh portal look, the blue and orange. Yeah. There, 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 there. 
Could you please allow us through? Hmm. Two prototype. Oh, hello. Um. <sighs> what, what is this man doing? Dying. Uh, he's dying. He's, he is alive, doing, I think. Doing his best, okay? <laughs> his arms are cut. His arms are chained up behind him, so... He's making sex noises. Way. Electra. He's, he's kind of... He's Electra kind of, ice? He's also... He's also making some very gyrating gestures. He, he's having a moan. <laughs> oh, moan. A little too much of a moan. 420. 420 yeah. moan it. I'd rather days. listen to Ur than... Dia, Dia, Dia! The Dia, Dia. <laughs> Blast him. Bye bye. Oh, take him out back. Die. You want to die. So I can't wait to die. Thanks, Sat. Thanks, Sat. Right. You were right there, Ray? No. Very much not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Momo Papa. Okay, Junior Popper. Or Jen. No. Jen. <laughs> Jen Papa. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Pop. 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 Oh god, it's so tall. Hell yeah. This is this is legitimately hurting my eyes and brain to look at. <laughs> Not because sure it's complex, just because I have a headache. I'm yeah. sure if we go to far enough I could like see a way through, but effort. Yeah. We're back at the start. Okay. 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 I found an hour and FF9 more. pandemonium. I, I wish I wish I uh, wish uh, that thing was playing right now. <laughs> oh, it's back. Let's go. At least uh, Junior and uh, Jin are pretty strong against these guys. Yeah. The slasher fierce. And physicals, I, I, I guess. My favorite physical attack, a gun. Gun. Oh, I understand, Junior. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Okay, so it looks like you need that orange one right there. And you're good. It's right at the bottom now. Is there anything around the circle, or...? Just in case? What if there's a chest? Uh, one know. of those blue ones, Let and me, the other well, one takes you all the way back to the star. Let me see if there's no, any... Yeah. No, let's let's go. Go. Well, gee, that'd be a shame, wouldn't nope, it? Nope, we're good. We're good. Uh, <laughs> if Shot only there was a... If only there were. What if there's a secret key? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Find some hidden treasure. Oh god, we're not done yet. Oh god, we're not done yet. We're we're done. We've, entered, we've entered the Portal 2 mod that adds the third portal. Yeah! Oh, no. Let's go! The green portal! Yeah! 
I suppose. What did that say? So, uh, oh, it said Ormus. Okay. We've entered the Cypher Key Lair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I've entered fucking. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, make a. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to do this right now. I'll make a backup save. Okay. Oh, uh, something's about to happen. Ooh. We're about, to, we're about to be fighting my favorite boss in the game. Oh, hell Ooh. yeah. Oh. Let's go. Is it Albedo oh, again? Way. No. Yes. Oh, you wish. Other way. <laughs> <laughs> That would be the best boss in the series. We gotta eliminate the HUD again. Warmus core unit system. It's Albedo. It's an RPG. Core unit. Albedo three. Albedo with a I'm gun. not actually being sarcastic. This is genuinely my favorite boss in the game. I figured you weren't. You did oh, say shit, it earlier. I forgot to load the door in there. I mean, I would have believed you even if you joked. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay, I believe you. I do. Is that a chair? Well, hey, I remember this lady. To this hey. confessional. Come in. You filth. You Hello. What? There is nothing to fear. Just no matter me. what you do, there is no escape from this place. Now, confess your sins. I will listen to anything. Something, something double. Even from the mouths of foul beasts like you. You damn bitch! I see. Damn. You do oh, not yeah. wish to admit your sins. Repent your sins. I mean, he just committed you one, basically. No choice <laughs> but to rip you apart. Oh, hell yeah. Count, count up your sins. He's gonna kick her ass. I I yes. Yo! <laughs> Boss battle! The, um uh, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry. I introduce uh. you the space pope cyborg ninja assassin, Orgula. It's time for the main event. She opens up a sealed oh, throne, which drop which completely seal uh steals your boost gauge. Oh, I'm certain the word words you just said about her, Ray. <laughs> Space Pops Ninja Cyborg Assassin, baby! <laughs> I know the stream today. Junior, <laughs> you just met her. There's no need for this kind of language. Uh, is her uh, is her ultimate just six style dual wheel from the meme video of King? Oh, 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 Matt, you're gonna you might you might enjoy what uh, Orgula oh. has. Anyway. Eighteen thousand HP, uh, 20, 72 strength, thirty five defense, thirty five vitality, eighty eight ether attack, twenty five ether defense, fifty four. Dex, 50 evasion, 16 agility! She is Holy fast! Boy. Really oh, fast! Oh boy. So Orgula has a gimmick that she's basically a form change boss. She has two phases, or style changes. Uh, this is right now her Uryu form. Uh, once you get to about half HP, she switches, but then she can switch back. It's not like a permanent phase shift. Mm. And so these all so come it's... with a, their own stats and weaknesses. So it's stances. Yeah, she's a, she's a stance character. So in her U form, uh, she is weak to ether attacks, thunder, uh, and hit, but resists pierce and slash. Hmm. Break zone is DC BB. So the main thing with Orgula here is that she's got a lot of like really fast uh, damaging attack, uh, not not so damaging attack, but a chance to flick poison. Uh, so her, her rare drop is skill upgrade E common, regaining two rare. I need and uh, yeah, I need, that. and there's especially. We a funny thing regarding the Awakening 2 in this fight. So, I'm actually going to swap out Jin for Xion. Hmm. Do we, need to steal it? <laughs> Do we need to steal that from her in this uh, this stance? Otherwise, we yes. can't get it. No. <laughs> oh, you'll see. You okay. Eyes up. flash green. Whenever you attack her with a character, her eyes will flash. It's in, it basically it's basically mostly just flavor text, but it typically signifies who she's going to attack. Uh, mainly, if you attack her uh, with like, uh, most of the characters, yeah, Junior or Momo, her eyes flash green. Anyone else, or attack with Ether, her eyes flash blue. It's just uh, sort of like what she what she does. Uh, I need to get that. Please give me. Miracle will fucking win this fight. Thank you. 
Yikes. And after slaying Byron's cane, she just slashes and has a chance to inflict poison. No need to scream at my man in my face, lady. Oh, she's gonna do that. She's a very yeah. she's a very angry woman. Mm. <laughs> why is it why is it always the Inquisitors that are angry? Well, it's part, part of the job description, really. Honestly. Byron's cane shot! Oh! <laughs> what? Point blank misses. Nice. Yeah, so, like all right. So the main reason why I like or Oracle's my favorite boss in the game because this game, this is, this fight is a very good example, positive example of how this game's the the, the strings of this game's battle system. And there's a, a real uh, push and pull between this fight if you know how to fight, you know how to work the fight, and she mm. she can put she can and will push back. Hmm. Scatter shot. This hits in an arc, but she sent her. But the sent the target. We can also move behind. No. This is so yeah. That's uh, just she can send her someone. So if you put Junior behind her, she she can only hit one person. Oh, she targeted Momo, so it just hits the adjacent characters. That's basically it. But yeah, Chris enough. is saying if if you could. If we could, yes, yes, yes. Stop one. Ready? Ha! <laughs> Evasion now. <laughs> yeah. And die. I like how she dodges before she even fires the shot. Oh, she, she dodges, dodges the sword <laughs> swing. Yeah, she yeah. dodges the initial attack, and that's all the attack matters. Yeah, the sword swing is what opens the wound that she shoots into. The bullets themselves do nothing. Yeah. They need contact with. Yeah, see, they're 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 bullets that are just her filled, inner circuits. <laughs> that are just filled with pure salt, like. Oh, for noses. Break bonus. Oh, oh yeah, she was just good for the fight. Like, oh yeah. Eat this. Eat this. Eat now we're working up an attribute chain. Throw in a talent arc there to keep the chain going. Yeah! Oh man, I wish that was a mechanic in this game that would make attribute chains so much more useful. I wish so bad that was a thing. Oh. Oh, sorry, that's not. Well, no, she needs her glasses. You can't hit Momo with the gun, so. Disgusting impure flesh. Um, Get out of my sight. And for a holy woman, she sure has a filthy tongue. <laughs> no, <that's all> <laughs> uh, her, her, her uh, being a holy woman is subjective in her eyes. That, mm. that, that's the that's the anime church rate. Because she, mm, she's just big fancy cyborg. Man, the Sky Pope didn't have anyone like you, like... Neither. It is funny that she's attacking Junior and saying that. <laughs> given the... Given the story in, uh, Disc 1. I mean, he did call her a bitch. <laughs> yeah, also true. <laughs> Very rude. Disgusting impure flesh! Will also be referred to as. Open, Ether 
Disgusting Zap. impure flesh. Wow. Well, Mystic powers, grant me a miracle. Me when they get my order wrong at Burger King. <laughs> 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 Do you, do you need to talk, Ron? Do you? No. <laughs> no. Want something yeah. up your chest? <laughs> Ron, Ron does need to talk to the manager. I asked for no pickles. <laughs> That's for King God help you if there were if I find pickles. Disgusting impure cucumbers. Get out of my sight. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my sight, Edge. <laughs> Open eager circle. No. Then she unexploded. Yeah. To 11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, thanks, Gian, for having been in the middle there. <laughs> you I... Repent your sins, pigs. Our guild's are shine blue. Perform is coming soon, meaning we're between one and five turns when that mess pops up. He's almost dead. Oh, I need to slow down right now. Almost. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, oh, she, yeah. Had eight, she had 18,000 HP, but... Mains awakens! <laughs> Stay out of this main! Huh? Zap. Yeah, oh, oh it's, it's a yeah. Oh, now, now she's a Jedi uh, master. Oh my god. Now, now she's, she's a Sith Lord. Truth is Lord. Now she's ready for Kingdom Hearts. She went from a Sith Acolyte to a Spawn Sith Lord. This is her mains form. In this form, her stats are now 86 attack, 86 strength, 25 vitality, 60 ether attack, 35 ether defense, 54 dex, 42 evasion, 8 agility. Weak to physical mm -hmm. attacks and fire pierce. Uh, now, a, now fire takes takes double damage from fire and 35% extra damage from pierce, but now is uh, still resist slash and now resist ice. Break so now becomes CBB and doesn't have a rare uh, steal anymore. It's still both still common, it's still still a free E. And she's actually worth twice as many class points as you beat her in mains form as opposed to Uryu. Mm. So in this form, she's like, ah fuck it, I'm just gonna hit you and hit you hard. Oh lordy. And, she, no, and she's been stocking up boosts. She'll just she'll go up, start combo boosting like this. The ultimate DPS. Clearly. DPS. Oh. Oh. DPS race time. Yeah. This form lasts for you just do a little bit of damage here, or you like wait like out like 10 turns, and then eventually she, she switches back. So you're on the clock. Yeah. Time for her to get and the Glock. Yeah, you, uh -huh. you're on the clock, but this in this form, you're not getting the Glock. I actually want her to change back. Oh, really? Yeah. Just so I can show it off at least, but also another show off another thing. Hmm. Right now, it's just basically she does a lot of attacks that she can do and do in this form. I also just want to show those off. Yeah. I'm just surprised you didn't want the class points. Oh, I'm gonna still kill her again in this form. Don't make, don't oh. make no mistake. There's something I want. Oh, well, from her though. I'm going to kill you. And then, and kill, then you again. kill you again. <laughs> Moo! Moo, shine down. Moo, shine down! Oh man, you, that reminds me of my favorite Xenoblade 2 tweet. Mystic powers! 
favorite Xenoblade tweet. Is it just is it just a picture of a character with the text in the tweet that says Moo? <laughs> Good. Ow. That, one, that downs, and Ow. she can boost into that in the in that death. Yeah. All weaker characters like Momo. Main to street program! Now she's back to her U form. Quick! You know, because she needs more agility. Yeah. So when she switches back to her forms, her items reset? Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. So that Awakening 2, huh. Awakening manuals, sell for the most amount of money for Matthew's side quest in the game at 500000 per pop. Holy oh. crap. So if you want to pay off the debt, you need to grind this out and get the earliest soon as possible. You need to get 20 so... of those manuals. So oh, that god. is why you made a second save. I will be doing that off screen. Ah. Uh... I'm not doing that here for you guys. We got, we got, we got I mean, run a call. I mean, I mean, obviously not. We're not, you're not we're, crazy. We're, uh, but yes, I will be doing that off screen. Great respect our time. Yeah. <laughs> Eve the assassination. Yes. This gives her vaccine and poison up. Now huh. she has uh, a greater chance to inflict poison on her uh, Byron's can attacks. Damn. I mean, just in time for her to switch forms and not use poison. Yeah. yeah, so will she only use these attacks when she comes back to this form? Typically, yes. Yeah, she okay. only she typically only like you start using the bigger stuff when she either re returns to Uryu or you get her low enough on Uryu and she starts busting them out before switching to mains. <laughs> Chris, I understand. Disgusting impure flesh. I was I was pretty close. <laughs> Disgusting impure flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel when you are discussing an impure flesh. <laughs> My face when my flesh is disgusting and impure. This one. My face when my face. Yes. Coincidentally, my favorite Kingdom Hearts tweet. Disgusting impure flesh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Holy shit. It's really good. Whoop. I actually did respectable damage. She's respectable. Yeah. I mean, you don't expect an ether that does damage and clears positive status ailments to do a lot of damage. <laughs> You'd think so, but actually, in trails. <laughs> He's right. Oh. Time to uh, build up boost with boost one. Open Disgusting impure flesh. I'll wait for a change back. Impure flesh. Oh. Cool. I like how you can never tell what status effect it is, so you just have a status effect. I'm yep. just wondering what she's gonna say when she loses. Jesus. I get the feeling she's not a graceful loser. Nah. Doesn't seem I the type, no. She's gonna set this place to blow up after we beat her, isn't she? She's gonna pull a Rugal. Time bomb set, get out quick. My genocide cutter didn't work. I lost. Yep. Alright, fuck you. Oh, the drop button. Disgusting impure flesh!
Take this. Repent your sins, pigs. Disgusting impure flesh. Disgusting impure flesh. Oh, she on? No, no, boys, don't touch that stuff. She loses, and suddenly Grey Knights will show up. Jin now? Here I am. Alright, can I do embarrass her by fighting her in in what Stay out of his name. So uh, I'm sure grinding this is gonna be a pain. This will take me at least there. an hour or two. Oh Christ. Yeah, but it'll but you know but it's the it is the fastest way to pay off the debt, so I got no choice. Make sure it's you all worth it to save our boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically uh it's basically fighting the inspectors early. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. of mm, I really like that early Shishio blade though. Mystic powers! Good item yeah. I like Mech Bo saying I'm awesome. <laughs> also, don't forget to uh keep like a tally so you know how many you've stolen. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll math it out in my own. So we only got the one extra right now? Yeah, we got the one extra. Uh, We're not going to be here for long normal, for mm -hmm. normal. Eat this. This. We're done here. Indeed. Yeah. Momo, oh, 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 it's okay. That's it, she's done. Oh, oh goodness. Her, her, her voice no, no sounded like she was talking through a phone that time, too. <laughs> That's the last you see of Orgula, by the way. She's out of the series now. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Game, stop it. And she doesn't even say anything else. Wow. That's it. That's it. That's it, baby. It's disintegrates. Just collapses and disintegrates. No, no cutscene. This is for Shion and Cosmos. Gravity bomb. Ooh. Ooh, gravity. Gravity, gravity bomb. bomb. Gravity bomb. It's either going to be the sickest strike thing. And a cause of oh. slow. It's either going to be the sickest thing ever or it's going to be disappointing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what are we doing here? Like, All right? So uh, we we totally destroy these pillars of electricity, right? No, we touch oh, them yeah. clearly. We just touch them and die. Bye, Cypher Keylair. Well, now we can't walk down there. Well, oh well. Oh, now there's a pathway over to that. Yeah, now there's a pathway to the, the lower one, which is going to be another boss. <laughs> Your race second favorite boss. It's okay. <laughs> we gotta take a call from work. I'll be right back. Okay. Sure. Just gotta tread a little bit of water real quick. This sounds like an Ace Attorney suspense theme. Yeah. Well, it kind of it kind of does. It kind of does. Uh, that part at least, not yeah. this part. But shows up. Junior calls her a bitch. Refuses to laugh. Right ties. That's Anchorage. Yeah, right. Oh, but this is a puzzle. This looks in the center of the stronghold. And luckily enough, it comes with self-destruct device. <laughs> looks like we're gonna what get luck? power bombs out of this. We'll show them. It looks like a. Uh... Looks like a Final Fantasy crystal. 
Yeah. Four detonators in the center of the room must be ignited simultaneously, so the switches through just the fuse links, then press the ignition button. Yeah. This is the worst self-destruct system I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't believe we have to light four sticks of dynamite at the same time. Why does it have a self-destruct system? Uh, because yes. In case you need to self-destruct. Yeah. I understand now. I understand. Good. Have a nice day. I'm glad you're so quick on that. <laughs> Let's see it. Ignition. Okay. It's perfect. Except the, this one is this one needs to, this one needs to be uh, do the be delayed. I think that one needs to go to the right, not to the Yeah, left. that one needs to go to the right. Oh, you missed one. Cool. Yeah, do that one in the middle also, there. Also, the top left one has to be going straight instead of up. Because that's the way it was before. Straight. The up, up, Top like straight up. Top left one. It has to be pushed again to the other way, because that's the way it was before when they all were aligned. Oh, okay. okay Boss, the base is good? compromised. We need to activate the self destruct system. Fuck. Okay, give me like 20 minutes. Pull out the menu with the, uh, the pathway. On a bing. Nice. This place go. is going up in 30 minutes! Time bomb Time set, get out, fast. get out fast! Here we go. Ah! Pretty cocky, ain't I you? I was joking when I said it earlier! Well, she's not the one who set the up truck, we were. Yeah, time to right, time time do not be here over. anymore. Time to do all the puzzles in reverse, let's go. But what happened to the field of timer? You know, I, I don't think game over. Yeah, there you go. Hell yeah. But remember, when oh, no. you get the exit, you have to wait until five minutes, so that way Shadow will live. <laughs> <laughs> Are we uh, we saving or killing the animals, boys? Uh, you, you're, you haven't played Super Metroid unless you save the animals. Good. Speedrunners dislike this post. <laughs> you haven't truly played Super Metroid unless you save the animals. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. Why you have to kill them all? Why there's still enemies? Does the timer start when you're in battle? Yes, it does. Shit. Yeah. Oh, man, I love how fast, how, how fast battles are with this with the timer. Yeah. I love I love the festival of the hunt. I don't like this. So this place is gonna go up in flames. You guys want to call a truce? Nah. No, nah, we want to kill you first. Hi. Calmly, can you please allow us through? We're all going to die. Dumbledore said calmly. Hey, listen! Hey, 
listen. Uh, no. The timer pauses when the enemies are loading in. This isn't this isn't that FF9. As the timer goes, as the long battle intro loads. Sense of real time foreboding. That was a fairly worthy opponent. If they're smart enough to pause it, things you can't things you can't control. They should be the exit. Are we going to scamper over something? Oh, that I wish. <laughs> nice. It's like, oh, hey, there's a self-destruct sequence escape rope. Oh, okay, oh. it's okay. It stays, uh, stays finished. Also, the thing is exploding. So, oh yeah, it's up one. Never mind. But it does stay finished. Imagine because we're gonna come back in the Inceph one if it only could recreate it in the last state it was in before it was destroyed. And if you didn't do the puzzle, you're just screwed. Oh, Rip. that's just poisoned. Damn. You, you, I mean, you had to do that to get by. Well, if you didn't do the green one to, oh, yeah. to get to the, um, yeah, uh, I mean, second just, address. I mean, I mean, that wasn't hard to do. Just push block. Oh, and now they respawn. Hey, if we run into those flying ones, we can analyze them this time. Yeah. Just to be assholes, they respawn. Mm -hmm. Go. Mm. Muscle break. L heavy. Break spirit. No, don't, don't break don't, my friend. It don't break me. What does spirit ever do to you, Calix? Sorry, I see you there. <laughs> I don't want to be toppled. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if the timer ran while loading the field. Oh, yeah, I already say it pauses the timer when the battle's loading. So what does the heavy status do? Um, I don't, I just don't remember. It makes it so you move slower and your jump is heavier, so you can't dodge as well. Heavy lowers dexterity, evasion, and strength. Okay. It's the opposite of it's the opposite of the feather status. Lowering strength. I can handle a little less than deck. Mystic power. Mystic power. Eat this. Fighting will accomplish nothing. Pardon? Yeah, right? <laughs> that sure was a quote of all time. <laughs> what, uh, can we smash these? Like, eat these electric things? Why are you doing this? Good question. Why are you doing this? We need to run. You should have asked that. You should have asked that question. When we All right, you don't get in here. 
strange yeah, the first strange the first stream uh, session oh shit are we dm just don't ask this person though he, he he's too positive about this game i'm kidding <laughs> Did you call me? Oh, there we're reaching thunder. Kristen. Hmm? They come. Huh? No, I'm sorry, my headphones are off. I'm doing a thing on the side. Did someone call me? Oh. <laughs> well, no. I am Then I am going crazy. You called me. And now I'm going to call myself, BRB. Okay. What's that slime for? Is that what the youth call it these days? Yes. Yeah. You say that, I think Ron's older than you, Chris. Yeah. Ah, what he calls it. I can never remember if I'm slightly older than Ron or if Ron's slightly older than me. I think Ron's the oldest here. Yeah, you'll have to ask when he gets back. Even that like, beam hit did a good the, chunk. The, the, the aiming of the beam was really funny. Amanda Beam. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the Amanda Beam. Amanda Beam! <laughs> Amanda Stream. Destruction. Eh. Amanda Stream of Destruction! Let me have that, have that stream. Amanda Stream! New inventions, not bad at all. Not bad. Yeah, I went, I went a lot through the Wishy on the party. I oh, miss oh, Miyuki yeah. and the cool. Dameron. Miss her too. Miss her every day. Okay. I will go down with my shit. Why are you doing this? Mom would be like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Ow. A generic war sound. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is this game if nothing but stock sound effects? My <laughs> favorite stock sound effect. The day an army. For day and day and. Eat this. Too. Cool. Baby done done, baby done done. <laughs> Thank you, Lucky. Mystic powers, grant me a Mystic miracle. walk. I go for some mystic walk right now. Yeah, I could go for a mystic tomato right about now. Mystic potato. I could go for a mystic potato right about now. Potato's not even as good as tomato, right? Uh, I mean, no, potato is way better. Oh, really? Yeah, potato's better. Uh... 
Yeah, Miss Potato, this card is destroyed. If this, if this card in the field is destroyed by card effect and sends to the G Way, you can push someone Dark Monster with 1,500 or less of attack from your deck in attack position, except Mystic Potato. Okay, so it doesn't have to be destroyed by battle like Tomato. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. It's card effects instead, so it's the same thing but card effects, which is more common. Yeah. You can blow up your own shit, like Dark Hole. Yeah. Yeah, you can blow it up on your own. Or any other archetype let's that go, has effects that go, they can destroy their own cards. <laughs> let's go Mystic Potato and Punch it. Is there, are there any valid targets that have 1,500 attack or less? <laughs> probably. I don't know. I don't know the stats of the, of the main deck ones. You probably have it. Battle on the ladder. Man, I love that enemies are just faster than you, so you just can't avoid battle ever. Why are you doing this? And you can't run from any of them. As well as the tails, for only one out of six enemies is faster than you. Mm -hmm. By the way, Ron, how old are you again? How old am I? Yeah. I am 34. Oh, I'm the oldest then. Okay, I'm just... That would be 35. Old man. Wow. Now just, yeah, I couldn't remember if I was slightly older or slightly younger than you. Oldman. Yeah. My, uh, my bones are crippling into dust as we speak. The enemy's an oldman, oldman, oldman. Remember to do your exercise. We're going to the gym after this, so yeah. Good. Hmm. You know, at one point, at one point, I was thinking in my head, we're going to get to the end and, like, have to sandbag time. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. <laughs> yeah, not really. Damn, 15 minutes. I feel more like a combat model these days. It's actually taking longer than I thought it would. Yeah, because they keep they, they respawn all the enemies and you can't run from any of them. <laughs> At least the timer doesn't tick down when you're in the menu either. Yeah. They're cowards. Oh, we have the shortcut at least. That helps. Yeah, thankfully, thankfully we can skip this room effectively. Imagine That's if it the... wasn't there. I mean, you can blow, I mean, you can blow it up yourself. Like, we caught, we made it. I can make dinner in 16 minutes. Wow. I can eat dinner in 60 minutes. I think we got a thing here, Ron. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, Ron makes the food, you eat it? Yeah. What about oh, me? Oh no, the giant, the giant safe point's gone, oh no. I'll feed you like a bird, Mom. Oh, oh my. Right now, the second half of the escape, do it in the UES. Yep. Well, into the vacuum of space. Good job. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, second half oh. of this game is complete. We're but done. You did, but you didn't wait till the end, so Shadow was dead. You were using them anyway, oh well. Really? Not for just three. Neither my subordinates nor the Patriarch's toys are of any use. You imagine the there's a history after this. The will not Cutting allow music. you to escape. Disengage your weapons and surrender. I repeat, disengage your weapons and surrender. Woo! Boss so battle! I, right. I, just, I just got the timing wrong. <laughs> It's the ESS car. 
Oh, hey, at least the timer stopped. And yeah, the timer oh, is officially uh, stopped now. You know, we're supposed to I say. the thing. We should be exploding, but... Oh, well, I guess. Being outside of the thing won't stop it from exploding. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Yeah. 30,400 HP, 420 attack, uh, strength, 250 armor, 480 ether attack, 320 ether defense, 52 dex, 50 evasion, 8 agility, uh, weak to aura, ice, pierce, slash, resist, beam, fire, and thunder. Uh... Common uh, drop is uh, only the X300, which is very nice because uh, that's a really nice item. Hey. Yes. Ow! Pelagra like user's gonna shank you a lot. I'll just take that for you. Wings of Light! Wings of Light! Hey. Oh, that did... Oh, Marshless Rain! No. Straight to light. You're going straight to heaven. Stock and IA of 80. Also, just stock myself. Okay. Out of it. So... Quick, let's use Medica to cure the robot. <laughs> yeah. It's all nano machines. No, yeah. I know there's no timer, but if there was, I'd be like, make sure you learn Deathclaw before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Fuck it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speedrunners like to this post. Ice cream. Counter boost. I had, like, Falling Rose 2. I had like seconds to go but when, I, when I got done that. I had like uh, three minutes. That's, that's pretty tight. If you want to get everything and leave. Yeah, by the when I by the time I got out with Deathclaw, I had like three seconds. Oh yeah, God. that's that's, that's, that's one. tight. But hey, at least Deathclaw can cheese a lot of things for a while. Yeah, that's Hell a good one. Yeah. Defield. Ether on the ESC card to press distortion appeared. So, uh, when you can use projectile attacks, um, she has increased evasion against them. Nice, she pops up. Now she's gonna die again. Genesis! Genesis! Thunder. This is her big attack. Beanfruit! Ow! Uh. See ya. Goodbye. Oh, that was easy, easy enough. Yeah. Pelagree jobs once again. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Oh, you know, I think, if the, I think if the timer had been going, we still would have beaten it in time. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if the timer gone. It still I'm should be going. Sorry, it's going right now escape. in the cutscene. This fortress has already begun to disintegrate. It's only a matter of time before it's swallowed by the abyss. It'll be a fitting memorial to you. And what about you? I suggest you spend your final moments praying for a peaceful slumber. You know, there's an opening in the ceiling, right? <clears throat> the ceiling is just a hole. We can leave. Xiang, I recommend a swift retreat. This structure will not hold much longer. I know. 
Let's hurry on back to the Elsa. What are you waiting for? To die. Also, I like how her ES can fly and ours can't. Mm-hmm. We didn't have enough Tesla drive. Captain, we're going to be called into the abyss with the fortress. Shut up, I know. Tony, what's <laughs> up? It's no good, yeah. Captain. The He's logical so real. drive was damaged in the battle. We don't have enough thrust. Hammer! I'm working on it. Damn, thrust is down 40%. It's no good. She's still dropping. What the... Who the hell slammed the ship into this place anyway? Well, it was the captain's idea, but Tony, you're the one who did the slamming. Shut up! Quit your bitching and do something already! You <laughs> well, you're telling here? me it's a team effort. The Elsa has never not been a team effort. Ladies, ladies, it's all your fault. It's all, all your fault. You're all ugly. Whee! Think about the Armor Stronghold, everybody. Bye. Goodbye to the thing. You Ooh. missed the chest. Off. Uh, uh, I mean, it's up one. We're losing it, Captain. We can't get away. I'm in... At this rate, we're not gonna last another minute. We'll just, we'll just go into our mind palace. Uh, and do the dungeon uh, again. That is true. So this is it. I'll just take you. What? Yoink! <laughs> what the hell's going on? Oh yeah. That's right. What's up, homies? Need you there? It's the Durandal. Yeah. Holy shit! Guiding from you to us. <laughs> Please insert disc three. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, we gotta get to the save screen for that to happen. No, they just asked to put it in now. The ship appears no, to have a good damaged logical drive and is incapable switch of flying under its own power. Well, at least now we can relax. <clears throat> hey, Mary! Oh, little master, thank goodness you're okay. What the heck are you guys doing here anyway? Heck. What? We came here to rescue you. Yeah, and I'm grateful for that. But yeah. don't you think your timing was a little too perfect? Look at Tony and Hammer. Having a good time. Master Guinan instructed us to come here. He dance. said if we let the little master handle everything, he was bound to do something reckless. Hey, and one. It looks like he was right, huh? Nah, he's always He's treating dancing. me like a kid. To be fair, it was We're Momo's idea and Captain anyway. Matthews went along with it. <laughs> Master Guinan said he had important business to take care of. He took off for the Federation capital. Fifth Jerusalem? What's he doing there at a time like this? Jeez. And he's calling me reckless. Yeah. And you thought the first game was religious. <laughs> this is the fifth point. Jerusalem. All right. Let's go back to the foundation at max speed. If we hang whoa, around whoa, here, whoa, whoa. we're going to get something. No, no, we need to go to Old Milsha. <laughs> no, but the Elsa needs to be fixed first. Ooh. I we thought we had to get to Old Milsha before everybody else. No, change the plans. We can't go to Old Milsha if the ship isn't fixed. Whee. Bye. Thing. Mm -hmm. The black holes uh, are gone I... anyway, don't worry. <laughs> it's just that simple. It's, it's just, it's just it's sucked in that enough that simple. Now. now we insert this three. There's only two discs, though. I know. <laughs> this joke. You have two dungeons left to go, by the way. Wow. Okay, but how, how many? How much time it got since? That's a Chris. <laughs> You're the lore keeper with the cutscenes. Oh, hey, it's her. You're just like us. Girl. Like you. Code name: Red Dragon. A useful yet dangerous creature with the potential to lose control. Our duty is to manage and subdue the Red Dragon's violent nature. Don't you think it's strange? The way you don't react to the Udu simulator? Oh, you don't mean... That's right. Red Dragon. Archery. Red 
and precious. What does she mean by this? <laughs> what does she mean by this? Negredo, come here. <laughs> Damn. Stone cold. Uh oh, when my head glows. Uh oh. That's uh -oh. Diamond gonna die. Oh no. More like dining. Uh -oh. Sam. I'm leaving. Bye. No, no! Rob, please. <laughs> uh, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it like Chris and commit to the bet. Nah. Uh. So, what's the enemy's status? Dead. I'm afraid I don't have very good news. The immigrant fleet has already descended into Milsha. Damn. We don't have much time. If we don't hurry, we're gonna lose the Zohar. Move the Elsa into the Foundation's dock. Have it repaired to Captain Matthew's specifications. We're going right back out. Little Master, there's a transmission from Helmer. Shall I accept it? Mm. Yeah. Hook us up. Helmer, I'm sorry. We let them get ahead I of keep us. Hearing, I keep hearing them back to these sticky right. keys. It's more important that you're safe. I'm glad you made it back. So, what's the situation now? I'm afraid the news is grim. It seems the Parliament has been thrown into complete disarray. What's going on with the Federation fleet? Don't tell me they're just standing around watching. No, they've already been deployed on a descent mission, but it's too late. As long as the possibility exists that the enemy already has the Zohar, the Federation can't make any large-scale overtures. So I guess it's up to us now. I'm acutely aware of the danger, but there's no one else we can turn to right now. Please lend us your aid. All right. We'll get the Zohar. You can count on it. It's now a covert operation. Wow. We are so stealthy. Mm -hmm. We're outside uh, of the, uh, the Federation jurisdiction for the most part, so... Jin and six people in swimfish. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. dude! Oh, one of the uh, two of them are robots. Uh, two of them are uh, ultra rare televisions. Um, one of them is chaos. And one of them is a synthetic human. Yeah. Was the S series? How are we? Can we get more than three? That'd be nice. That would be nice. Can I have three? Can I actually have three deployed in battle at once? That'd be great. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, he has two yeah. cantanos. <laughs> uh, that's key, that's secret key number like forty three. Secret key forty three. <laughs> that will be yes, in battle. Unlock your third. Yeah, yes, Matt, 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 <laughs> Matt, 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 I had. No, what actually happens is it lets you uh, deploy the the. The seventh person that's not in a mech. Just into battle against the mechs? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we fought eggs in the first game on foot, so. Yeah. Uh, for, we we for fought an ES on foot in the first game. We sure for did. Oh, yeah. We should know, but we did. We're not even at all the classes unlocked, are we? No. <laughs> That's simply not something you do, you do until like well in the post game. Wow. That's something you just don't do. You just you just pick what you want. I mean, that's how I played the first game. <laughs> no, in order to beat the game, you have to master all the classes. Cease. 
Uh, they're gonna be quite a bit of trouble, you'll you'll see. Hmm. Accessory learning is usually turned the skills it can use, but there are some that are turned the skills of the pilot. Yes! Correct. So in order to continue things, gotta go back to the Elsa. side quested coming up and wouldn't be right if Ooh. I just did some of them right now when I still gotta do the grinding for Orgilla and get all those waking mm -hmm. manuals. We'll see what I can suss out and then I just end this from early. Okay. That's fair. Sounds good. Really strange. We're mountain climbing the tough one. Doesn't that sound nice? Uh, sure. I guess. A religious nation. Wasn't all Mills was all by a black hole or something? So that's how the story Not goes. Not anymore. No, it was. So was that? Come on, Jin, move those geriatric legs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you, your sister can go uh, up the down. You do it. Yeah. That's another thing Shigun's gonna judge him for. <laughs> Why aren't you training your legs? You gotta work out. You just sitting there in your home reading books all day, brother. Jin needs brother. a treadmill. <laughs> Jin needs one of those uh, the treadmills. You can, or the yeah, the treadmills you could use it when you're sitting. The little foot pedal things. Yeah. <laughs> keep uh, keep your uh, keep your blood pumping in your legs in your old age. Okay, so I do believe we can get the second dress that's here now. Was it we found earlier? I just want one of these doors to open, and there's it. it the door opens to another door. <laughs> you just got to find yeah. another segment, another decoder. Oh yeah. So it's no, like yeah, uh, no, I don't. It, I don't mean like I don't mean like the second dress it opens to another one. I mean like. The, the door to the cabin opens and it just opens and there's a, a red you just opens a red <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing behind the door it's, it's a door opening to a segment address door is this so what you're saying spirit is a uh, secret door in doom <laughs> yeah doom guy this one is level three class h combo boost combo boost oh, we, got, we got combo plus now yeah combo boost is awesome combo now we can Two. You're welcome, it, it, Murph. That's an equip skill, but uh, yeah, it'll, it'll allow you to boost on uh, your turn while you're while you're still in the window. You have the slots now. Uh, oh, oh, that's, that's actually okay. sick that we can just boost whenever. That's yeah, possibly, possibly, <laughs> possibly when character icon are showing. Yeah, this is, a, this, right, is, this is expensive for a reason. This is a fantastic fucking skill. This is a must for everyone. And I believe, and I believe if uh, characters uh, pilot ES have this equip, uh, they can combo boost as well. Don't call me on that. I'll test that for myself. But uh, I look forward uh, to combo minus reappearing. Oh man, I love combo minus, aka crisis core, aka fed rear, aka negative combo, aka aka a panther. <laughs> okay, so uh, it looks like. So there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of side quests though that open up in the GS campaign. Some of them are are don't actually appear appear until the we actually uh, get inside uh, Old Milsha properly, which is where it was the next first section is. But it's like you can just go in there and then just immediately back out and then you can just get started on all the side quests. 
So what you're saying is we're gonna... I don't know what you're saying. I have a question. How many more sessions do you think we have left? If I'm being generous, probably around four main main story sessions left. If counting side quests. Okay. And like Say, post wow. game and post game, probably another two or three. Okay, <laughs> that's good because I was, I was thinking four for everything. You no, 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 no. I told you this game is backloaded. <laughs> And that's good for me because I won't be here in two weeks. I respect that. I respect the Majoran's mask uh, set up here. Mm -hmm. We'll see the opening of this bit of this come back out immediately. Alright. Okay. It's good to see you awake again, Dr. Yuriev. Uh oh. <gasps> Uh -huh. Sorry I'm late. I didn't think it would take this long for me to recover. Recover. How's the situation? Oh, no! Extremely chaotic, sir. The Federation's grown tired over the past 14 years, and many unstable factions have arisen. And Udu? 14 years ago, one of the URTVs made partial contact with it, causing a medium-scale space-time anomaly alteration. Since then, it's been obstructed by two black holes. Even now, we cannot confirm the state of its existence. All right. Ready my forces. I'll contact you again shortly. Yes, sir. By the way, how are you feeling? Terrible. I heard your old body was disposed of. I feel great. There's only so much lifespan extension one can achieve. But now I'm fine, thanks to my son. <laughs> that is the son who killed me. Oh. Oh, Yuri, I did a bit of the fucky wucky. Ah oh, man, I like that. And that sucks. I know. Oh, uh, it's uh, <laughs> there, there's some oh, shit. There's some shenanigans involving Yuri. Ev. Bonus points that he actually killed Yuriev, I guess? Yeah. Well, at least he did that. All part of the plan. <laughs> Translator's not Kekaku means plan. <laughs> oh, wow. The capital the looks just like it used to. Everything's exactly like it was then. Time has stopped in this world. I'm stopped. The country of the hills of Mo. Stop, sir! The land of Moo was sacrificed. Moo! The land of Moo Laflaga? Moo! It suddenly disappeared Moo. in one night. Moo shine down. At last, the surface gave way, and they sank along with their countries. What's that? A fairy tale. A story about a land that vanished into the sea one night long ago. It was called Sacrifice. Atlantis. Would you like to uh, tell the story it with uh, any amount of emotion like in your voice? Just looking at this place. Yes, it does. Attention passengers. We'll soon be arriving at the designated coordinates. There's no way we're going to get any further in this big hunk of metal. So if you want to check inside any of those buildings, you're going to have to do it on your own. All right. Let's hurry up and get this over with. All right, so we're exploring uh, Mortha too. Here, you know? <laughs> Mortha again. Mortha a second time. Uh, Chronopolis a second time. Chronopolis <laughs> again. <laughs> I can do this. This area used to be the capital of the militia. The area of hell was ground zero 14 years ago. It was full of YouTubers and these facilities. Where I had a little support and research was. Labyrinthos. Cheon, are you alright? I'm no. fine. Never been better. Uh, yeah. Cecilian Calf must also be there. You say something? No, it's nothing. That's <laughs> alright. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Once a session, baby. Oh, yeah.
He's usually yes when hunting out. No, I'll walk. You've had your you've had your test run with using the ESs in the field. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to go ham. Going ham. Well, I know a good way we can kill time with before we uh, end the stream. Xeno hmm. card. I wish. I wish. Xeno <laughs> card FDK. Oh, uh, we can uh, show off uh, some new special attacks that can come available now that we have yeah. the ES uh, the Emax 300 for ESs. Oh, we right. need to show off uh, the Shion and Cosmos dual tech too. That too. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to do that in ESs. Old Milsha Submerged City. Woo. This place. It's a nice oh, dungeon. Are we, are we actually underwater? No, we're, we're like uh, the, we, the city itself is submerged, but we're not. Oh, yeah. okay, I see so destroyed. Yeah. The city is fucking destroyed. Yeah, if you wanted to get access to the other GS stuff, you need to actually have set foot here. Then go back. We're actually visiting planets, <laughs> unlike the first game. Wow. We would have visited a planet if the game had gone at least as long as getting to second Milsha. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Timer resumes. God. So the EMX 300 sets your max your charge to 300 instead of 200. Ah. And certain, and certain characters have uh, text that go to 300. Odin Buster. The Asher, we got uh, Odin Buster with Chaos for Shion. They leave her long beam. And uh, with Jin, Moonlight Blade. Ooh. So I'll just, oh man. I'll just do this for the rest of the stream. For all these things. Okay. Mm. Sounds good. Moonlight Blade, all enemies along Ether Aura. Well, I see they repurposed the concept of Lunar Blade from the first game for that one. There, there are, there are some uh, concept used for the text and uh, reuse for the for these. For, um... That's a nice idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a nice idea. I am. Thank you. He's a very nice You're idea. Welcome. You're welcome, Ron. Yeah, I kind of want to side buster from here. Going to be sending you an image ray. Oh. A spoiler or something, Shirley. Shirley. Hey, don't call me Shirley. Really, you just. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Yeah. Oh, 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 mmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. What's a hint to what it is, if you're comfortable? Uh, it's cold steel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I don't want to know. Yeah. Fair yeah, this is quite nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Buster, single enemy long ether beam. Buster. You get the FR shot going on there. FR shot, yeah. Sidebuster is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I 
The Dina reminds me of the Birdigo. Mm. Ooh. Birdigo. Yeah, I can see that. Birdigo. I'm gonna throw out some bits. Cargo? Yeah, I hope it do. Ball <laughs> go far. Through the Dina. Oh. X Buster! Hey. X Buster! Was she on? All, all Ether Long Beam and Iron Blade with Jin. Single physical long slash aura. Ah, uh, yes, uh, a, a technique with uh, Cosmos and Cosmos 2. <laughs> no, 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 Spirit. Cosmos 2, somebody else. <laughs> I mean, I meant mechanic wise. Because they function similarly, like, ah. like Ray said. Exubuster! Nice! Wow. Wait, can it's he do damage? It's a lot faster than the first games. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh man, I love a quick, quick damage. Yeah. 300 energy. <laughs> quick. I need to run and grab my dinner real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Well, little time there is. Launch pass! Guardian from FF6, launch pass. No escape. No escape. Iron Blade, single enemy long physical or slash. Iron Blade! Jeez. <laughs> Neat! Zebulon aired with Jin and Chaos, <laughs> Ziggy to Shion. We uh, are <laughs> all, all you from Long Beam and Meteor Blast with Ziggy. Oh shit, just no. Ziggy tech. Single Ether Long Fire. The best part is you can just leave Ziggy in for bolt because it doesn't bolt. I don't think Ziggy said anything this whole session. Much Christian friend. Not worth the 300 points it took. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. What did I miss? Uh, I assume I missed you, Iron Blade. You did. You just missed Aired. Oh, oh they brought Aired back? That's cool. Oh. Trying to show it again. I'll do it for you, Josh. Banner, he can that is kind of underwhelming, but still cool. <laughs> that kind of sums up a lot of things in this game. I mean, call over your back. I'm back. 
Welcome. Wow. The day has finally come. Oh. It is the birthday of Gary Bogard. <gasps> oh shit. Okay. Meteor Blast. Ooh. Single enemy of long ether fire. Alas. Get back to you. <laughs> that was phenomenal, including <laughs> including the little bang as he hit the enemy. <laughs> The uh, the image of Saturn there was was peak. Yeah. Sound design is my passion. Sound design, Sound design is, is my passion. passion. <laughs> Alas, Ron. Mm. I am currently forty three minutes into the sixteenth. Uh. Uh. So. Then you can't come to the birthday party. I can't. No. Oh well, there's other birthday parties. Yeah. Like your own. Less than uh, three months, I believe. One or month. Four months. Yeah, four months. One month. Oh, I'm talking about Chris's. Oh, my birthday is next month. <laughs> yeah. I'll also be. Jin, please don't fool around. <laughs> No promises. We are filming around right now. Jeez. Have some more faith in your brother, Shion Fox. <laughs> <laughs> she does not like being around him. Some reason. Jesus well, Christ. We are clearly just fooling around. We're still going. Gravity bomb. This area is off limits. Ten out of ten. My only wish is that uh, they did a kick instead of a punch. Yeah. yeah. It will be a long time before my sword can rest. Great ending, though. Really was missing the rider kick. You yeah. didn't really need a rider kick. Ron, what's your verdict? Oh, yeah. uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show it again. I'm sorry. I was uh, looking to the side. <laughs> Do you really think this is a good idea? Okay, oh, I'm, I'm paying good. attention. I gotta build up a beater again, so. It sounded like a request, so I'm going to treat it as a request and say no. <laughs> For Jin, disengaging his weapon means unsheathing it, so. Hey, you're on. All right, here we go. We're gonna be quiet. The best one yet. It started off Dragon Ball Z, and then it went into Utena. <laughs> no, it went into uh, the That's fucking Dead or Alive beach volleyball game. Jesus! I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna, gonna say it, it went into Fumofu at the end. Yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it an eight. I think the run kind of ruined it a little bit. 
Oh, yeah. The run having like Christmas bell step sounds yeah. was really <laughs> weird. <laughs> Sound design is my passion. Bro. <laughs> yes. It's basically a Toma run from Kamen Rider Sega. Yeah. What about Meteor Blast, Haran? What do you give that? Oh, you mean the rock falling and going. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Bitch. Yes. <laughs> <I saw> you. <laughs> How dare you? A two <laughs> out of five. A two out of five. Two out of two. A two out of a <laughs> hundred. Let's go. A two out of Cold Steel two. Two out of two out of two. Two I like it. One I hate it. <laughs> That's just <laughs> well, no, zero would be you hate it. Yeah, I guess so. No, negative two would be you hate yeah, it. Yeah, it's like going to Cold Stone and getting an ice cream. I get love it. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. We had a in school during high school and earlier a bit. Our grades went from four to 10, four being the lowest, mm. Mm. which is great, f phenomenal, fantastic system. We're done, by the way. I'll let Chris tell a story. <laughs> okay. No, no, no it's, all, it's, all, it's all done. It's just, you know. I have, it I have something to say on the stream. <laughs> well, right. But I'm done. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, that's, this, that's this session. So like, when next we see uh, in Xenosaga, I will be 21 Awakening 2 manuals richer. <laughs> Goodness. Gonna dump it all oh, off so we can get that, so we can get the reward as soon as possible. And getting an ASCP is a huge bonus benefit, so like it's gonna be mm -hmm. massive. The clock time is gonna be like 22 hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will be, but uh, uh, yeah. it'll be worth it. Uh, better worth on my my nerves. So.